All right, we're actually live again. It's a different page though. Uh, we're gonna be doing <laughs> a new campaign. Let's see if everyone can make it back to this stream now. The uh, Fukuhara Tyra legendary campaign. Welcome back everyone. Um, I had to quickly set that up. It's actually a different, different page now. Um, apparently my stream health is okay. Well, I just, you know, gotta hope that it works out all right. Um, yeah, I just, God, that was just a shit campaign. This was a weird, this is a weird setup today, I gotta be honest. But, um, I guess I can close the other stream. Hopefully people will make it way, their way back. This one wasn't, this is, I set this one up differently as well. Is the quality still the same? I guess I can check that myself. Is it, yeah, still 1440p. All right, well, some people are trickling back into the stream, so I guess people are finding their way. Welcome back, everyone. Um, yeah, the description is fucked up, and, the, and the, the tags are fucked up, and everything's fucked up right now, but it'll be all right. We're going to play some Fukuhara Taira, Legendary Difficulty. It's been a long sin time since I actually played um, the Fall of Samurai campaign. I kind of hate it. Uh, sorry, Rise of Samurai. Um... Because the levy units are absolute fucking trash. But luckily this clan, the Fukuhara Taira, we got some bonus for Nagadata stuff. And Nagadata um, Attendants, I think they're called, are actually quite good. Uh, we have the Koryu art already mastered. We rule over more territory and vassal clan. Okay, we have... Wait, are these all our vassals? No, no, no. Those are just the uh, the, Fuku, or the, the Fujiwara people are up here. Then the Kizo are here and the uh, Kamakura are here. And then I guess our vassals are these ones and that one. Yeah, and this guy owns that. Okay, cool. So our ally is close by as well. Well, our, like, sister clan, if you will. And then we have a minus 20% upkeep cost for Nagarata units, which is pretty good. Cool, alright, well, let's do it, I suppose. Welcome back, everyone. Maybe we'll make this stream a little bit longer than usual. Um, since I started later and we've been doing all this fuckery as well. Need to learn about Rise of Samurai from the Great Warlord himself. Yep. That's me. The Sengoku Jidai was a time of war, but those who say Japan has never seen the like have short memories. Long before the Ashikaga Shogunate, 400 years of peace were shattered by the Genpei War. Amaterasu, the Sun Goddess, watched over the emperors of Japan and gave them power. Their authority was absolute. An emperor could retire from the world and still have complete mastery over Japan. But now, imperial might is crumbling, weakened by three noble families. For many years, the Taira have secretly controlled the imperial court. Sophisticated, cunning, ruthless, they plot against any challenges to their hidden power. The Minamoto are proud warriors. Their pleasure is battle. That and the destruction of their enemies. The Fujiwara were once the most powerful family in Japan. But now, they only dream of power. After years of careful planning, the Tyra are finally ready to make their move. The Miyamoto intend to block with all their might. Meanwhile, the Fujiwara watch and wait. Perhaps this moment is a chance to right wrongs. The Imperial peace is at an end. War is coming and blood will flow. All right. 
Welcome, everyone. We are the tyrant. Yes, we are. Our I don't need to hear your fucking bullshit. If we are to become shogun, military rule of all Japan. Okay, thanks, lady. I get it from here. Right, welcome everyone again to the stream. Um, everyone has trickled in during the uh, cutscene as well. Welcome. Is this going to be voted as a series? Yes, sir, it will be. Um, that's part one in this. Yeah, it'll be part one. Hey, Vladimir Stukov, new campaign, never tried Rise of Samurai. Yeah, so we were just doing the um, the Fall of the Samurai campaign with the Aizu, the diversity challenge, but it was just going way too well and it was getting boring. It was it was boring from yesterday, from the first stream onwards. Things went too well. So we're just going to do a regular, normal, legendary difficulty um, Tyra campaign right now. Fukuhara Tyra? Fukuhara Tyra? Is that us? Tyra? No, this guy's name is... Oh, the Fukuhara Tyra. There you go. Uh, we have three generals already. That's pretty sweet. I gotta remind myself about uh, all the buildings and stuff in this game. I do... God, we start with Kyoto and it's just horrible. What is our goal again? Just to own 60 provinces, including a whole load of them, but I guess that's just all the main territories of the other clans. That sounds good. Well, let's do what we always do, and that's uh, start trading. Oh boy, we have no one around us that actually supports the Tyra. Oh, these guys are vassals too. That's really bad. We have a vassal, two vassals, in fact, that don't support us. Well, let's just at least start trading with them, I suppose. I don't want to betray them right now. I'd rather they betray me first, so... Yeah, we'll just get all of this stuff on the way. And then we'll, uh... Okay, we do 50 as well. I kind of mistyped it. Sure, thanks, dude. Get this all out of the way. Okay, here we go. We met someone who supports the Tyra, which means we want to murder them. Because then we can take their town and not have too many unhappiness problems. Right, Sasaki, can we get some trade from you as well, please? Why do I keep, type keep typing at 4 instead of a 5? What about just 50? What about 100? Probably not. 50 it is. So much trade for your land here, though. We have loads of fucking trade. Alright, let's just start at 100 for everyone then, I guess. 50. Alright. We're gonna run out of fucking items to trade here, Jesus Christ. And everyone's doing it for 50 bucks, so we get a little bit of money extra as well. Great deals going on here. <laughs> the Kita Batake. Everyone wants to trade too, am I this powerful? Yeah, I always speak, speak in honesty, sir. Don't worry about it. And last but not least, the Shinman. I'm gonna keep trying the hundred. Oh, there you go. I was gonna say, it'll, it'll pay off eventually, right? Well, there you go. Just a hundred, but... Sweet. A hundred bucks from them. That made us like 250 or 300 bucks or something from all that trade. Plus all the actual trade, of course. Uh, you have Taira Kiyomori himself, the biggest of all the Taira. Yeah, was he that large? Um... Heard you need more viewers. Let's hope it will be more battles than the last one. Yes, sir. Did actually did someone say that in the Discord or something? <laughs> this DLC is nice but disappointing. No reason not to spam Foot Samurai. Yeah, exactly. There's just one unit in, the, in this DLC that you want, and that's Foot Samurai, and then that's about it. Okay, so uh, this is our vassal, and this is our vassal. So we're free to take out the Kawachi and the Omi over here, I guess. And they have an ally over here, and we can go this way as well. Okay, well, that sounds pretty good. Um... Oh, sorry, not him. Him. We could take out. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I guess since, you know, we have two armies, or all of our armies in range of Kawachi immediately, we probably just go after him, unless you've got some kind of allies or something. I'm assuming not. Uh, Kawachi. Wait, who's the people in Kawachi? The Ishikawa. God, this is going to be learning all these new factions and all that. We're very friendly with you. Well, that's a very unfortunate. You're about to die then, isn't it? We start with a couple of uh, levy units. Nagarata Attendance is the good type unit. Is there... Are there blacksmiths and stuff in this? There is a blacksmith there, as per usual. There's a, also a craftsworks there. Does craftsworks do the same thing in this game as it does in the other games? Let's find out, shall we? There's the encampment as well. We only have one armor, six accuracy, or three melee attack from that. The bushy training ground is the one that gives us the, like, regular units, I guess. And then there's the other one that gives us the warrior monks, which is a Koryu training grounds. But I think our faction likes regular units, the bushy ones. Clan Estate gives us uh, influence, etc. Yep. Then we have the Border Exchange, which is just like basically the um, the food building, the market, if you will. The Tadokoro is this building, which is um, kind of works the same as Fall of the Samurai does, where you upgrade the town for more building slots. 
Um, and then this one for more garrison and stuff. And this one also gives us better defenses. Because right now we don't have... Like, this, this is not an actual defendable town. Like, it, it's just... A, it's a building... And it's got some, like, fences around it, but you can just walk around the fences, basically. There's no actual defenses there. Artisans. Okay, so artisans does give us accuracy. Okay, and then the holy sites gives morale. And I'm assuming the blacksmith still gives either armor or melee attack. Or both. Okay, cool. Right. Sounds good. And then we just got all the other buildings. Oh, right. And then the fields give us different... Right, so you, the fields just goes for... Uh, money from food and then an extra and, and food of course and then this one is if you want to recruit calf basically you always build that one unless you're planning on building calf in the same province okay and the rest is just whatever all right sounds good to me let's fucking go boys we start with a quarter you training grounds here and we get an extra armor for our, um naganata attendants is one of our special things we start with an open building slot here. What is the other thing that we... Oh, no, it's just one building, of course. And then we got an open building slot here as well. So I think we're going to start with some barter exchanges, right? This gives us the Monomi, which is the ninja. Uh, we have very fertile... What the fuck? He is very fertile soil in this. Nice. The dry field agriculture is the one we want, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's not a bad idea either. Barter is barter exchange the, like, base building? Because this gives us the Monomi, and I think uh, we get the... Yeah, we get the Jun Satsushi from here, which is the Metsuke, if you will. And then we get the Su from here. Okay, it's just that that one is actually unique, which actually means that the Tyra start off pretty well, since we can recruit ninjas immediately. Pretty solid, actually. Um, yeah, Barter Exchange is probably just the best building generally, right? I mean, we want this for tax rate and influence spreading. The school increases mastery. And we just have recruitment buildings. So yeah, I think Barter Exchange and Campman we don't want right now. So let's just do that for now. Kyoto as well. We have a state thing here, which is just a singular building that doesn't get upgraded. Okay, interesting. And then Setsu doesn't have a unique building. So we don't get any kind of unique building that gets us better Shin Jun Setsushi or anything, or at least not one I can tell right now. So we'll build a couple of barter exchanges. Do I have any money left over for anything else? No. Oh my goodness, I forgot how expensive roads were in this. Holy shit. Okay, well, we can reach Kawachi right away, which I think I will, I will immediately do then. Uh, I might recruit a unit or two. Um, Naganata Levy are fucking horrible. Absolutely trash, which is why I, I hate this DLC for the most part, because these guys are just so bad. Although we get an extra armor on them, which makes them a little bit more viable. In here are free units plus a garrison of free units as well, so we do need enough units to attack this with, but I think we'll be alright. Declare war. Uh, no. You know what, unless I want my allies to betray me, but I think that might be a bit, a bit early. Let's not call them in right now. Alright, so they've got a bunch of levy stuff and Ishikawa Nobu Nobuari, the daimyo, sounds good. Alright, let's pop you in here and then we'll just run you over as reinforcements. Okay, cool, and now we've got a Jun Satsushi as well, which can do uh, loyalty and increase defense against ninjas, the same as usual, and this is just increasing tax. So basically just a regular regular mission, um, Metsuke. So that should increase our income. Let's see, 2195 to 2283. Yep, that's exactly, exactly what it does. Cool. All right, let me quickly check chat since I've not really been paying attention at all. Um, Probably good idea. Scrapping the previous campaign, you've already proved it to be not that much of a challenge. I think I might redo it at some point in with a different faction, different clan. Fall of the Samurai always has that same problem, though, where early on it's a little bit difficult. Well, usually it's difficult, and then once you're past that point, you're sitting around doing fuck all for so long. Like, at least in regular Shogun 2, you still get attacked from time to time by other factions, but because you have so many friends around you in Fall of the Samurai, you're just sitting there doing nothing for ages, and it just becomes this time... Of like hours and hours of just building up your talents, and it's just unfortunate. Perhaps it's a challenge, no foot samurai, only mounted. Eh, for now I'm just gonna play this one normally. Um, Rise of Samurai is not that of a popular campaign, anyways. It's good exposure to those who are stranger to it, myself included. Yeah, no, not many people play this, and people always ask me to play this, so I was fuck, fuck it, let's just do this. How on earth do you start with four provinces? We start with three, so. You don't. <laughs> Pretty sure all the ninja recruitment areas are in your territory. Yeah, so we have Omi is another one, I guess, and Iga. And that's probably it, right? 
So we are actually going to be the only ones with ninjas for a long time, if ever, perhaps, which is kind of cool. YouTube just recommended me a Gregorian-style version of Viva La Vida, and I actually, it actually wasn't bad. Thought I'd share this really important piece of information. Thank you, dude. Rise of the Samurai, huh? Never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> um, Discord is really quiet at the moment, but I was watching the stream from yesterday because I missed it, and I couldn't bear the double-digit viewers you had. Yeah, it's sad. I, t I don't know what today. I think it be I started late, which didn't help. Um, but it, it's all right. And also, just the, just the campaign was boring. I'm pretty sure people from yesterday were just not interested, or some of them anyway. Right, what do we go for here? I actually don't quite know. Um, I, I mean, we're kind of fighting focus, so maybe we just keep that up. I think I might want to go for whatever gets me the, um, the encampment as soon as possible. I'm not entirely sure what tech that actually requires, though. Let's have a gander, shall we? Give me the buildings, please. The encampment. Oh, fuck. Oops. The encampment requires the forms of the earth, which requires Koryu, which requires Budo, which is the first one. Okay, so it should actually be... Wait. That one. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's just go for that right away. Let's get the best units we could possibly get really early on. Well, maybe that's a bit early on, actually. Well, 4% unit replenishment is not bad either, so that's not even that bad to go for regardless, to be honest. Uh, that gets us better units, including Mounted Naginata, which are nice, but... Yeah, fuck it. Well, this is a bit early, I think. Maybe a bit overkill. Let's, let's start by doing some generic stuff over there first. Right, we've looked at all the diplomacy. Let's do a battle. And since this is actually... Let's not absorb that. Uh, like I said, basically, yeah, it's, it's like this. They don't actually have a wall or anything, so... I don't mind fighting these kinds of sieges early on. How's your day going? Uh, pretty well. Today was a busy day. As I was talking about earlier, but you may not have been around yet. I, uh, I'll be moving out into an apartment with my girlfriend next week. So we were busy today cleaning everything around there. And, um, yeah, everything's getting, everything's getting real now, basically. Um, furniture is arriving Wednesday. Then my furniture from here is going to go over there on Friday. Uh, TV's arriving on Thursday. It's going to be a busy couple of days. And then, yeah, on Thursday, my computer is going to have to get packed up and stuff. So I won't be able to stream on Thursday and not on Friday either because that's the day we're moving in. Right, reinforcements are coming from down yonder. Down on that. <laughs> that was terrible. Right, this is one of the things about Fall of the Samurai, in case you guys have never seen it. So, generals in Fall of the Samurai are quite good because they have uh, a bow, which means they're actually just kind of like a, a bow cav, uh, which is nice. But the, the thing about Fall of the Samurai is that every unit is always in loose formation, and you can't put them in tight formation, nor is there actual uh, another loose formation available. Loose formation is just standard, and you can't change it. And um, you can see this unit has literally nothing it can do. There's no Yari wall or anything. They're just a bunch of fucking trash. You hear that? You're all a bunch of trash. So damn. Did you hear that scream? My goodness. Uh, okay, so we have two range units. Let's start moving them up here. They can't put their units behind these little things, and they, I'm sure I'm sure they will. But it's kind of makes them more in a tight formation, so our archers have a, a more of a field day, if you will. Okay, so we got three generals. Let's kind of get them up here too, because that's three more range units we can use. There you have. Let's see. Um, they have probably two range units, right? Or one, not two. And the general, of course. So we have the same amount of bow levy, and then we have... Uh, let's put you there, you there, and then that should end up being okay. So yeah, we have the same amount of range units, and we have three generals as opposed to their one. So we have just a numerical advantage. I keep saying fall instead of rise. Sorry, I meant, I meant rise, obviously. So you decided to do a Let's Play in Rise of Samurai. What changed your mind? I finished this one for Fukuhara Taira two weeks ago. Um, mostly because people have been asking about it for so long. And I kind of... I've been doing so much regular Shogun 2 s lately that I'm like, I just want to do Fall or, um, Rise of the Samurai for once. <laughs> I almost said it again. I count seven times you said... Rots? Rise of the Samurai? So I did say it correctly then. Or did you mean Fall of the Samurai? Did you say it incorrectly now? Donkey's playing Rots. <laughs> so many people are coming in now. What the fuck's going on? Playing Rise, but his brain confused to accept it, so he keeps saying Fall. I really need to leave your work as a calling. Okay, Nikos, have a good night, dude. Um, okay. 
Okay. Right, so they're they're gonna let me get across the river, it looks like. That's very kind of them. I actually I think my calf have the same range, 150, yeah, so it's not like I can move them up and start shooting or something. But we'll have you coming up on the right side. I probably could do the trick though, try and uh, make them lure like lure them towards us. I don't quite know if we're gonna be in range already though. These are our archers. Now I think we're still gonna be out of range even when we get up there. So I could do the luring. Try and make them come towards us and then just nuke them. Juke nuke them, in fact. Let's try and do that. Let's make this one come towards us. Come come! Here they come. And then I should definitely get you guys up here as well, so I actually have enough units to be firing with. Okay, stop for a second, make sure they don't turn around. I'm actually going to keep my melee units a little bit further back as well. Okay, they're getting into range of that unit, so then we just move these three units into range as well. And then we, that one's not going to be able to fire, but we are firing with that unit. And then the free generals, that's another 120 men. We should be able to win that battle. I would say let's put them in loose formation, but <laughs> they already are, so there you go. I think we're all in range, but let's get up a little bit closer. I could also charge it, but I think we're good. Fall of the Samurai. Fall of the Rise of the Samurai, yep. So basically, you're not going to have to live here for cannon fodder. Also, wouldn't cap be OP in this... Since the infantry can't go tight formation. Yeah, except that cavalry in this game, the unit size, I think, is... Was it 30 or 20 or something? It's horrible is what it is. You need to get away from here. Oh, okay, that's one unit gone. Now will make the next one come towards you. Yeah, cav is super, super small unit size in this. Unit size in general is really small in Rise of the Samurai. You can see these are already our, um, like, th this is a second tier. This is like a katana, which normally are 160 men. And these are your, um, Ashigaru units, essentially, which normally the archers are 160 and the infantry are 200. But in this case, it's 160, 120. And then the samurai are 100, or the naginata, sorry. And then you have foot samurai, which are your, kind of the same tier as bow warrior monks, but kind of different. Um, and there is only... Um, 60 of those. But then you've also got bow warrior monks, which are, I believe, 80. So it's just, it's all over the fucking shop, dude. It's crazy, the numbers in this one. The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? Did that guy just jump across this fence and then die anyway? Alright, we're being charged, but that's fine. You should start firing at them in a second as well. This unit's not appearing to die as fast as the other ones were. Let's get some infantry up here, just in case. Let's get them over to the side. To the left, to the left. Let's charge you in there, charge you in there. They'll probably turn around once they see my... Yeah, there you go. Okay, just get back then. Get some free shots on them. That unit's coming closer, good. Oh, they're charging again. Get in there, boys. They're gonna turn around again, probably, once the shooting gets up front. <laughs> Alright, fine. Just stay there. Fire at them. That unit's still going as well. Fire at them, please. Triple speed this for a bit. I mean, this is really a fight we shouldn't be losing. Are you guys just not firing? Wait, I saw you do your... No, you are firing, okay. 44 men remaining. What a battle, am I right, guys? Come on now. There you go, broken. Can we get it shattered before they go? No? Fair enough. Okay, right, so now we have ma massive range superiority here. Okay, they've come back from routing. You're serious right now. Just kill them. One volley should be sufficient, but... Oh, shit. I see you. Can we just route them, please? They're fucking. They were steady for a second there. Did you see that? 
That just went from, from yellow to red. Should move my dudes up as well. I just want that unit to be gone. So I can fully focus on all of this shit with just full on right. There we go, it's gone now. Alright. So now we can just get our range units in position and just fucking hammer down on them. Alright, so now we got our shitty unit versus their shitty unit. I'm sure it'll work. Oh, there we go, we broke them. Fantastic. Okay, so now it's just melee units on their side, so we're just gonna be able to shoot until we run out of ammo. Oh, there they come. Literally just triple speed us, to be honest. Probably should have gotten you guys to just start firing sooner, but whatever. They're probably turning back again? No, they're fine. Alright, I'll gladly counter charge you. Probably just get my cav in the backside of them as well. Just charge in there, they'll probably ride instantly. Slightly risky. Oh, there you go, they've gone. Okay, well, let's get in position to start shooting again. We'll probably kill enough of these as they're riding anyway. You guys get in position to start shooting at those guys right there. You get back in formation. You guys move over, start shooting. There, the general, of course, does have range as well, so we got to be somewhat careful there. But, honestly, this really shouldn't be a problem anymore. In fact, I probably should just charge my infantry up now, but, I mean, we have the range, so... Okay, there are generals coming over, and I don't really want to take shots from those if I don't have to. Especially on my own cav, which are quite valuable indeed. Quite valuable. Quite valuable. Okay, maybe overreact a little bit too far there. Too much. Get up here and start firing. Wait, no, don't fire at them. Go up, move, move up and fire at... Wait, what? What the fuck was that? There. Fire at them, please. Uh, charges, but that's okay. My lord! A, a glorious victory will soon be yours. What the fuck are they doing? They're dancing. They're making me waste my ammo. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Oh shit! Get in there, boys. <laughs> They're playing around. The fuck! I've never seen that before. And routes, or maybe not. Okay, here come the enemy generals. General, even. There's only one. Get you guys in there. Okay, let's just charge him. He's in grave danger, danger, my lord. Get in there, boys. Let's do it. Get over there. Generals, just fucking shooting them from the side. Weaken them a little bit. Oh, a couple of dead horses right there. They're getting fucking nuked. I didn't realize they're gonna die this quickly. And they've broken. See ya. Goodbye. Alright, there you go. Our first victory. Maybe melee combat is much more honorable during Sengoku Jidai. Is this the harder Tyra, the one in Central Japan, or is this the easy one to the west? This is actually the one in Central Japan. Although I assume they're gonna be easier than the ones to the west. Because the ones in the west have, like, more spread out territory. But, I don't know, we'll figure it out. I'm not gonna. Oh my god, I'm already noted. Jesus. I have no money. Can I carry them inside? Oh, perfect. Okay, see, so yeah, we got 20% tie right here. Oof. Um, what are the most important things to keep in mind when playing a Rise of the Samurai campaign as opposed to Vanilla or Fall of the Samurai campaign? That you will not have as much fun when you play Rise of the Samurai. That's what you need to keep in, keep in mind. Donkey, try merging levies after battle to work around terrible reinforcement rate plus accumulate experience for the sweet XP chevrons. They make biggest impact. Yeah, they do in this one, actually. Um, yeah, obviously for now it's not worth it, but yeah, that is actually really horrible. So honestly, going for that right away might not even be that bad, to be honest. Shinden is just like the next tax thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know what? What does this do? I think we'll go for that, because it's only two turns, but then I might actually just go for forms of the Europe after that. Are we going to be able to reach? No, we can't reach that right away. Plus, we need happiness, I suppose, so... I have money to recruit units. Do I... I guess I, I, guess I get some Naganata attendants. Uh, I can I can afford two of these for one of them, to be fair. 
Um, but the levy are just so horrible. The morale is the big one. Is they've only got four morale, which is actually it's trash. Um, kind of tempted though, to be fair. Two for one. Maybe it's a bit too early to go for those. But I want some archers too. I have two right now. Yeah, let's do a one and one right now. Fuck it. Sounds good. Let's say go. And I probably want to have a general leading them as well. I don't need all my generals in one army. Sweet one man per turn replenishment. Fucking great. Why is Rise of the Samurai not fun? It's um It's just not very good. It's just it's got a couple of annoying things. Like some of the like unit balancing is horrible. Like foot samurai are the only unit only unit you ever want in the late game. Because they have a bow and they have like the best melee stats by far. So you just want well you can get some cav, I suppose, but other than that, you just take full uh, katanas or um foot samurai armies because they do everything and then um the whole having to convert places is annoying like you know how you got religion in shogun too but that only takes place unless you've got the like if, you, if you've got the iko and the otomo being annoying other than that they're not an issue or it's not an issue um and in fall of the summer you kind of have a similar mechanic too but it's only you know making it's only half the towns whereas in this one it's like they've got so many towns that you got to convert and it takes ages to get anything done and it's just it's just a nuisance really more than anything um anyway i think upgrading that farm with uh fertile soil there is not a bad idea that's ooh, that's actually very fertile isn't it yeah let's go for dry field agriculture here and then we have money to recruit another couple of units i'll run you guys in there uh i guess i could have recruited them here too by the way i don't know why i did it here because i guess because i have more stuff available and i was like oh, i should recruit them here instead um you get another two units i mean mostly i need them for happiness yeah i think i'll take another two or well yeah one of either oh shit that's why okay let's do one archer from here then one archer from here then please i think next turn we're just gonna go out we got some unhappiness we have to deal with but we can keep a couple of units behind I want to take this sooner rather than later. And after that, I guess we go to Tamba. I don't quite know expansion-wise where we're going to go, because we have these vassals. I'd rather they just betray me soon, so I can just get rid of it. Take them out and move on in my life. We'll see. Cav unit is smaller. Right, yeah, I need to check how, how large they actually are. Although I don't know if I actually can. Alright, so we're not going to go for poetry and learning, or literature. We're going to go for forms of the earth. Even though we're not actually going to use the encampment anytime soon. Right, so what am I going to get out of here? We have four units plus an extra one coming in. So we can take out... That's going to keep balancing each other out for now at least. So we don't have any extra happiness incoming. So I think we can move out... Well, we can move out five units if I do that by that logic. But I think I'd rather just exempt it. So I guess up to nine will do. So let's take the daimyo, who's already 57 years old. Maybe I should just not use him and let my heir level up sooner rather than later. Oh god, he's got a great trade. He's got a prudent wife. Oh boy, that's a waste. Gonna lose that early on. Uh, I also need to change my commissioner for warfare to be commissioner for development instead. And then we got a 17-year-old son who's gonna come of age soon as well. Alright, we're gonna take these guys instead. The daimyo can still lead an army, I guess, but... Although he's going to save me money for now, so it's just going to—it's a waste of experience. What it is? I guess I'll bring him, but I'll let the other guy command, so I'll pull him out of the army. And then we want to leave. I want to take nine units with me, right? You can't move any further. So two, eight, or two, six, nine—that'll do, I think. I can always recruit more units as well, actually. So this will be fine. In fact, yeah, I can. So let's bring that unit too. So we'll just move over as far as possible. It's going to be winter next turn, but we're going to immediately attack it anyway. We should bring the last general. Nah, fuck it, we'll leave him behind. You can leave your friends behind. Because your friends don't dance, and if they don't dance well, they're no friends of mine. I want to get that ninja soon. Do I get better level ups from higher level buildings or something? Rank 2 mono. Okay, so yeah, I do actually get a bonus out of that, but it takes ages to get that. Um, yeah, we'll recruit more units here. So I'll take... Uh, well, I want to make I want to make sure I build buildings as well. So let's do that first. This is two hundred wealth, which isn't that big. Probably just get soil. Average soil is probably worth it. And a harbor trade routes probably worth it too. I've already got that one upgraded. That sounds good to me. 
And then I want to get some more units. I got one, one, another one of those. Okay, cool. And the next turn we attack. Sounds good to me. I did play Tyre a few months ago and had fun with naval invading and looting provinces, followed by letting them rebel to force more experience for both troops and generals. I see. Is it someone say food? Tsao wants to know your location. For once, the economic side is much better than the vanilla, but thus you could seriously boom and lay game of abundance of food. Okay. I'd love to see a top hero unit. Yeah, many people do. Many people. Uh, a couple of barter exchanges. I can actually upgrade those right away. So one of them gives an extra food, but no extra wealth, but more per turn town growth. And the other one gives straight up 300 more wealth, but nothing else. That's pretty good, though, to be fair. Pretty good. Do I actually get a higher rank Metsu or uh, Jun Satsushi on these? No. What about the food stores? No, just level one. Okay. So the food stores gives free food, which to be fair does give an extra free per turn to town growth across all provinces, as well as 30 per turn to town growth. But it only gives 400 wealth, and then the market gives a total of 1500 wealth at the end, which is way more. And then ter per turn to town growth is going to take a long time to catch up to that. So I'm guessing that. Oh, wait, hold on. That one actually does give a plus one rank. Never mind. So yeah, the. Um, the one that gives money right away is technically better. Although, yeah, you could go for crazy amounts of food, to be fair, if you build this everywhere. But insta-money is pretty nice as well. Plus, it's cheaper to build, which means it takes even longer for the other one to catch up. So, I think I'm going to do that. And I'm going to move the unit in here. Minus free happiness. I guess I'll just exempt it for a turn. It's only 109 bucks for missing from that. Not a big deal. I'd like to get either one of these agents. I guess we'll take the Jun Satsushi first. Let's get him in here. Actually, yeah, where am I going to put him? Whatever our second richest town is, which would be Setsu. So yeah, over there. Sure. Sure, sure. I want to get rid of this at some point as well, because I don't currently want that in this province. Oh, they recruited, like, what? Two build two units? Yeah, two units just now. That's okay. Um, oh, shit. It is always good to see we got a... I, I thought that was him saying something, but no, we got a donation. Hold on. I haven't even got my Streamlabs up. Let me check that real quick. Thank you so much. To Lee Pinson. No, that was an hour ago. Wait, what the fuck was that? Apparently there's a donation, but it didn't show up for me. Was there a donation? I mean, I definitely heard the sound for it, but it's... I don't see it. Can someone let me know in the chat if there was a donation or not? I don't, I don't know what happened. Unless he was actually the one who said that. Why would he say that when I'm about to declare war on him, though? <laughs> Maybe, I guess we're friendly with him. <laughs> Wait. No, he does Oh, yeah, he does say something. It was actually not a donation. It was just him saying something. <laughs> I'm about to declare war on these guys. Like, greetings! <laughs> Alright, I'm kind of tempted to pull the allies in now. Because I want to see if they... Um... If they don't join me, then I, it means they betray me, essentially. I can take their towns. It's a bit risky, I suppose, but fuck it. Let's see what... How, okay, they all join me. Whatever. That's fine, also. <laughs> I got bamboozled by the damn AI. Alright, this one has four archers. Oh, we're out archered over here. Over here. We do have a... Uh, better and more infantry, although it's not... You know, it's not that straightforward. We'll see. Fucking bamboozles. With fake promise of wealth. <laughs> Got all excited. Alright. I don't want snow. I... Hmm. We are outranged here. But I could still make him come towards me anyway. Hey, gaming samurai. Um. Hey, Sifsky. Good to see you. Good to see ya. 
Uh, nah, I think I'll just take dry. We'll still we'll still make this a ranged battle anyway, same as we did last battle. Try and get the most even bit of land. I think that's right here. From trying to remember, I mean it's pretty flat all around to be honest, but I think this is a nice bit of land here to work with. So we'll pop you guys up there. Pop to no and then we'll put you guys behind for now. God, the loose formation just makes it so disgusting looking. Uh, and the generals are going to be used to make the enemies. Let's just put them up here. Make the enemies come towards us, and then we shoot them in the fucking face. Okay. Let's just run. Fly, you fools. Rise of Samurai is taking place around 12th century, which I think is just the second Shogunate. Yes. This is a straight up Rise of the Samurai Let's Play. Yes, it is, sir. Yes, it is. We only just started. You haven't missed much yet. I mean, I started the stream earlier. The uh, Rise of the Fall of the Samurai campaign, which I didn't like at all, and ended up just kind of quitting it, to be honest. Um, in favor of doing something different, which just changed into this the Tyra Legendary campaign. Oh my god, says Black Rose. Actually, Black Rose said OMG, but you know. Okay, let's um, get into a certain position. Actually, I think yeah, that sounds about good. And then we'll start making them come towards us. Where are the archers? They are actually towards the back. Okay, that's fine. Let's go over here. And then we'll put you there. Kind of joining in with the firing squad. Maybe a little bit further back. I'll always move you in position. And we'll move over here. I actually wanted to see Rise of the Samurai. Good. Well, now you've got it. Alright, we'll lure this one unit back and we'll fucking fire the sh shit out of it. And I'll move you forward so you can start firing as well. Not moving too far forward because then that one is going to come towards us. But okay, it's running into range now. We're about to start firing. Good, good. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I'm in range of everyone. Let's just get into range. I kind of want to run you into range as well, but we're being shot over here, so it's... I'll take a volley if I do that. Okay, time it correctly. Arrows oh, just landed. Ooh! Quickly run past while the volley is not there. Into this here position. There we go. Alright. There's a Naganata Levy coming towards us. That's fine. Oh, are you shooting at my general? Oi! Oi! What the fuck do you think you're doing, man? That doesn't... We don't fly... We don't... We don't... We don't play by them rules here, sir. What, are you gonna shoot my main guy now? Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. A bit of respect for the general, man. I need to get some actual infantry up here, because there's an infantry coming rather close now. I'm also getting my dude a bit caught out here. I'm gonna get stuck in a second here. Fuck it, run, quick. Fly, you fools, as they say. I'm actually legitimately not gonna be able to get through here, am I? Go thinner. Run! My fucking general's gonna get stuck! Uh, uh, One guy! Nope, turn around. Oh! They killed, they killed one guy. Well, they killed one horse, technically. Um, oh my god! Holy shit! Shiny Namakar, 50 bucks. Sorry, I gotta pause it for that. Been a long time fan since Shogun 2 was the latest Total War. I wanted to say thank you. Well, that is, a, that is quite the thank you. So much, dude. So much. Wait, what am I trying to... Thank you so much, even. <laughs> Shiny Namikar, 50 bucks. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, okay, Archer's not in melee. Good. Damn, we did not expect to see that tonight. And a subscription from someone else, thank you. Unless my units are call yelling Yari Amazing now, which I doubt. Okay, next archer's coming up. Good timing, because this one's about to go. Alright. Um, so far, we haven't lost too much. This is going alright. It's good to see that my strategies from regular Shogun 2 work in this one too. You can see how ineffective units are though. Donkey scrapped previous campaign into being boring. He just started this one today and it's a rise of the samurai. Yes, that's what you missed, Dante. Good explanation. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, no, not you. This one. Oh, they're, they're charging again. They're like, fuck. Round two, boys. 
Um, yeah, so the last campaign I just didn't enjoy. It was too easy, um, and I, I, ha I was just going to sit there for ages doing nothing, essentially. So I decided the best thing to do was just to scrap it all together and continue doing something a little bit more interesting. And thus, here we are. Should make an army of complete foot Oh, you need to get the back. Complete foot samurai. Uh, when you make your doom stacks, just to see. Yeah, it. No, yeah, I, I probably will do because those are actually solid armies. Consider flanking with levy archers because morale is low on enemies when your archer department is not very good at shooting. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad idea actually. Okay, you've gone a bit too far forward and you're being shot now. I'm not playing this particular. No, that's my, my my archers up here again. Actually, we're almost in range already, so this is fine. You come back. Thanks for the sup. Alright. Kill this unit as well, then it's just two range units and a general. I still want to probably keep it range. I feel like these units are super slow in this game as well. Is it just me? Or are they really slow? You know what? This is one of those situations where I should just really charge them, to be honest. Fucking bow levy coming back from there as well, but I can charge those as well. This one took... Was taken down pretty rapidly, though, I think. Give him a cheeky charge. I mean, yeah, loose formation against generals. Not going to work too well. Continue charging into the next one, too. Why not? Since we're here, might as well. And goodbye. Okay, now we'll get you back again. Line you guys up properly. Then there's a bow levy coming towards us, but we're already gone again. I never really got into Rise of Samurai, but I'm enjoying this. I Neither did I, um, and I also am enjoying this. Mostly because the Fall of Samurai campaign was just plain boring. You started streaming at the perfect moment. I was sitting here playing Pokemon and had nothing to watch when I noticed that you started streaming, so thank you. Well, you're welcome. You should really thank Shiny Namakarp for making my day. Alright, let's get into proper position. You're gonna shoot my extra armored boy. You know what? Honestly, I think I should just be more aggressive. Yeah, they're shooting my dudes right now. Instead of just firing at them, fucking just charge them. You have two cav units that are really good. Like, these are actually solid generals. There is another archer unit, but they're too far away to do anything. Weaken them a little bit with some shooting, and then... We're, we're shooting them on the charge as well, which is nice. And then we charge them, and that should really just instantly be it for them. Or, you know, for the most part, anyway. They're... They go. 50. Broken. Awesome. Well, what did we lose there? Like, two free dudes? Well, we lost a bunch of them right there for some reason. I don't know what happened, but... Get the fuck out of there. Oh, we were actually being shot by the general as well, and the other bow levy. Oh, maybe one of the two, I'm not sure. Okay, we lost quite a few in the end there, but still, that was probably worth it. Just to speed things up. Then again, that uh, <laughs> replenishment of one guy per turn is actually going to make that slightly less fun. Alright, they've only got one archer left now, though. Hope to see this campaign to go to completion. I'm sure it will. The Me stopping a campaign like that is like a first. The thing is, I actually wanted to say this earlier, but I totally forgot to talk about it. Um, also, I can just capture a town right now. <laughs> that kind of situation, uh, where I cancel a campaign. Since I'm streaming now, I kind of have to do that. But normally, if this was you know just a regular Let's Play, if I was still doing normal videos, I probably would have never even uploaded it to begin with. Because I would have... I usually record a couple of episodes in advance just to make sure the campaign isn't a complete failure. Um, and that's one of those cases where I would immediately have noticed, okay, this is just boring, I don't want to upload this to YouTube because it's going to take too long to do anything fun. So I, I never would have uploaded it to begin with, but because I'm streaming, I kind of, you know, we're already, we've already seen it. You guys have already been watching it, and then I'm like, well, this is kind of awkward, I don't want to stop it now, but I also just don't want to continue it. And then it just became even more annoying because I had to go deal with the vassal who betrayed me. I was like, fuck it, just, just start a new campaign, it'll be more fun for sure. Okay, the archer's actually coming towards us. Interesting, and I can't actually really charge in there now because there's Naganata boys. I probably should just charge in altogether though, but again, we have the range advantage, I should make use of it. Alright, everyone shot, shoot the bow levy, please. And you. Should also use Inspires, to be true. To be fair. I don't remember if these guys get stand and fight at some point. I don't know if the level up tree is the same. Ooh, general coming towards us to shoot. Let's not have that happen. 
that won't be fun. This one's taken a big beating already. It's a coin toss by the time you have to fight Minamoto and their doom stacks. But yeah, I'll have my own doom stacks to fight them. To combat them. I want to murder that unit first if I can. Kill the general. That one's been severely reduced anyway. Oh, he's definitely coming to shoot my generals from that little bit of movement forward. Or maybe not. I don't know what he's doing. He's shot there. Yeah, he definitely is trying to shoot my general. But doing that is making him walk around a lot. Okay, we're actually taking quite a bit of big beating on this unit now. Let's get you guys back. You're dying really quickly, in fact. This general's really having it in for you. We should really be killing him quite rapidly as well, but... Okay, there you go. That was a big volley right there. Yeah, as long as you don't die, it's all good. That might be one of those units where I might just combine it with the other ones and recruit a new one. Punishment's horrible. There goes the general. Alright, we've almost got a mass route here. Oh, I hope we got lucky and killed the general there. I don't quite know who the general is in this one. Unless he looks different. These all look pretty similar though. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, sure, I'll take a victory. Let me have a look and see if I can distinctly see who the general is though. Because they don't have a balloon or anything this time around, so it's hard to see. You'd say you'd think it was the guy in the middle somewhere, but I mean they all look fucking similar. Maybe they, maybe one of them has like a different colored helmet because this one's got a red, or sorry, a black helmet. But I don't fucking, I don't notice a difference. Although that's black. Hold on, is that him? Yeah, you've got red. No, that's black. That's all black. Never mind. I don't fucking know. What bonuses does Dunk's clan have? I can show you in a minute. He's playing well, strategically speaking, using arrows to whittle down the enemy before closing in. Yeah. Donkey, could you do 3k next? It's up to... Well, I would say it's up to the vote, but I also kind of just started this one myself without con con consulting the vote. So, maybe. We'll see. Oh, they had exactly a thousand men. Now they have exactly none. So, you know. Uh, nice thing about <laughs> taking towns like this is that you don't have to fix the town afterwards. Alright, is the tree level up the same? It most certainly isn't. Okay. Is there a standard fight? There is. Okay. So that's definitely still what we want to go for first. Which means I have to put one in either one of these. Then two points in here and then two points in there. Oh, that's trash. But that's also trash. So there you go. Uh, what else do we get? Honor. That's a cheeky two honor you can easily get there. Uh, nah, meh, that one, okay, so that one we definitely want to get, so we'd have to go for that and also down here, which means we're going to get plus one command, plus five charge bonus for all units, that's actually not terrible, that might even be worth putting two points into, night battles is pretty easily achievable as well, but you have to put two points in there unfortunately, still though, might be worth it depending on how the math works out, but if it's two points, so this is level two, level three, level four, then you get, I, I, if it's the same as the, the normal game, you get uh, three points and then again three points. So we could put um, two points in here and then one point in there. And then the last level up, we put the other point in there and two points in there. So technically, yeah, it would be possible to get that. But do we miss out on anything crazy? I could get this, but I'd still have to put two points in there. So I don't think that would be worth going for. And this is probably definitely out of the question. Yeah, okay. So I think actually that might be part of the level up tree. Uh, so yeah, level two, level three, level four... Level 5, and then 1 point in there, and level 6, you put 2 points in there, 1 point in there, and you get 9 battles too. I think that actually might be a legitimate level up tree. Terrible. Not terrible at all. Alright. Cool. So that's uh, two of the three Monomi recruitment buildings. Monomi. Four units in here, but we have to, because happiness here as well. Kind of need my vassals to betray me now, so I can go take them out. But otherwise, I guess we'll go for Tamba. Owned by the Shinman. Your Shinman, me. They haven't got any treaties uh, or anything, so I guess that's fine. All right, cool. Uh, I already checked the blooms just now, so that's... Oh, right, yes, the clan traits that we get. So we have plus one armor for all Naganata units. We have uh, predominant, which means we rule over more territory and vassal clans. We have traditional warriors, which means we have the Kiryu, Koryu art already mastered, which was two different arts, which I can show you in a second. And then we have minus 20% to upkeep costs for Naganata units. 
So the art that we already had was the base one Budo and then Koryu, which allows us to build a Koryu school and then get Naginata Warrior Monks. But I'm pretty sure we need other stuff for that too. Um, yeah, we need the Buddhist Temple, which is the second tier. Yeah, it is, which not going to happen for a while. That unit's not bad though, but again, Foot Samurai is better, really. Uh, okay. Rise of the Samurai General. I mean, what the fuck's up with general only bullshit every single day? Hello? What the fuck are you doing in my territory, son? Betray me, I fucking dare you. You'll pay for this with your blood. Alright, you're going into. Hello? With the Setsu. Unless Ega's richer. Oh, it most certainly isn't. <laughs> That's a. Uh, nope. A big ol' nope, nope. Uh, do I want anything specific here? I don't think I do, just... I mean, clan estates aren't bad, because I spread influence, which is good. The next tier, I think, also spreads influence to other areas? No, I'm wrong. Um, oh, wow. Do you just don't get until you build the palace? Yes, and then it's only a plus one. Wow, that's horrible. And I think you can only build one palace as well, pretty sure. Um... And it gives you 20% of reduction to administration costs. In that territory? No, there's a clan effect. I guess everywhere. That's actually pretty insane. But for now, a barter exchange. This will take fucking ages. We need... Um... Is there an agent you get from that? Hold on. Yeah, the Shirabyoshi. I forgot. No, wait. Hold on. Yeah, that's a female. That's a female! <laughs> Uh, nope, not that one. Shirabyoshi, she does spreading of influence, I'm guessing. Um, I don't care about the fucking specific things. And say nobles. Ah, uh, does she? Entertainment and seduction, I mean. Increased loyalty. I don't know if it actually does increase. I think, I think the Metsuke does, doesn't he? Is that what you do, my friend? Spreading influence. Yeah, the Metsuke actually is the one that does that. Okay, well, fair enough. Um, do they also... Sorry, it's a, it's a Junsetsushi. Do they not also make me money, though? Can I give overseeing towns with you as well? Uh, da, yes, I can. Okay, so they can also make me money. All right, well, they're definitely going to be pretty valuable in this campaign. What's the next richest town? Most certainly key. Do I want to recruit... Or do I want to build any buildings? I mean, that's not bad. 200 wealth. I'm not hugely interested in that getting more of these upgraded is not a bad idea this field is meh um because oh and i definitely want to get something here right so i guess we'll get another barter exchange or we'll just go for the clan estate estate now um nah go more barter exchange i want to get the metskays out get the metskays out boy and then i guess i'll get a monomy and another monomy yes let's do it let's oh what what's that that's not a monomi. That's a and that's a ninja. Look at this guy's got a way longer face. I don't accept this. What about the um see that one's actually the right image though. Fucking bullshit. What this one's got the it's got the old image as well. Well, the regular Shogun 2 one. Eh, yeah, whatever. Okay, I can unexempt you for a turn. And I could even perhaps move some units back there, but no I can't. Right, do I start... I think I just chuck you into other units right now. Just to... Because that replenishment is horrible. Actually, this is still horrible. I didn't actually even check it. Yeah, it's pretty trash. Wait, never mind. I can't see because it's that's a full unit after the replenishment. Well, whatever. We can easily recruit one. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Jinsa guy does for it. Yeah, okay. That's why it's a waste to have them sit in town. Well, they still make me loads of money if you give them overseeing towns. Way useful. The threat of attack from Sasaki. Well, let's fucking prepare for that. Do you get any bonuses for having Kyoto? No, I don't think Kyoto counts as the seat of power in this one yet. Although, well, there is a bonus in the way of you get uh, the state academy, which gives you plus 20% uh, rates of arts being mastered, which is a, a one... Like you can't even upgrade or anything. It's just a it's just a building that you get. 
which I guess is, I don't know if it's unique to Kyoto, but it's probably, because it is just the administration building, so I'm guessing it's still in the other towns. No, that's something else, that's Silk. It used to be here. There used to be one down here in Saruga, which it doesn't look like there is now. There also used to be one in here, uh, which is also Silk now or something. So I guess, yeah, maybe it is unique to Kyoto. That's pretty cool. Um, pretty stacked lady when it comes to what she offers. Oof. She's also pretty useful for getting new gen. Oh yeah, because you can actually just use her to bribe or like uh, enchant. Enchantment. Right, who's the people who are about to attack me? The Sasaki. Okay. Well, should I just park my army in front of them and be like, hey, what was that? What was that? Was that about uh, war that you just? Uh, I heard something. I heard, I heard you wanted to go. Well, let's fucking go! It's actually kind of interesting. I don't know where I should put my army then. I should put them in range of them, so if they do declare war on me, my army's actually- they can't move away. Because if I- if I keep, put my arm- keep my army here, they attack Kyoto and take it, which would suck. If I put my army in Kyoto, they run over here and take this. If I put my army in range of them, they have to attack me if they declare war on me. They can't move out. It's just that this army's a bit scary. It's a bit scary. You've only got one general, though. The losers. Plus, happiness here will be a problem. So if they don't declare war on me, my whole plan is just fucked. But let's just, um... Let's just do this. Because I got to. And then this is free happiness. I can recruit a singular unit here, which unfortunately means I can only move out one. Um... Do I put another archer in here? We're already out archered. I think, honestly, probably it's better to get more infantry and make sure we beat them on the old infantry department. Um, I want to put the ninja in here armor as well. And I want to put my boy in there. That's my boy! You're going to go in here. Can I recruit any more agents? No! Okay. Um... I think we're just going to put another infantry in there, just stay low on the actual range. That way we definitely beat them in the melee. We have four range units to my two. But we have six melee units against their five. And we have two generals against their one, but ours are a bit fucked. Alright, that's fine. He's fine! Right, what do I do now with my sweet, sweet cash? I think we just build another market. A market? Mother, shall we go to the market today? Let's get another Naganata attendant now. Alright, cool. Well, let's uh, let's see that fucking war you were so keen to declare on me, my friend. You're gonna betray me, a little ba- And what, watch them, watch these guys now attack me instead. It was, a, it was all a ruse. I don't know if they'll still attack me if I'm- if I've got my army inside of their fucking- Yep, I guess they will. There's my answer. <laughs> I'll get my allies to join in. Oh fuck, they had more stuff. But they didn't actually get in there, so that's okay. Right, so we have the same amount of units, but we have way more infantry than they do. Well, by way more, I mean one more. Sure. Can you bribe their town so the army is just gone? I don't know, I probably wouldn't have the money, but I need to figure out exactly how that works again. I don't think you can convert the last time of a faction. That actually might be true as well. Probably Gordon Rise of Summer reminds me of Warmer 2 and Legendary keeps you from rapid expanding. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why I don't like Legendary difficulty on Warhammer is that artificial minus 8 happiness. Oof, rain. I guess that's okay. We've got ourselves an absolutely brilliant hill here, here though. Actually, it's, it's good. It's not brilliant. It's got a forest on it, and it's nice, but it doesn't have, like... We're not on the downhill slope, basically. But they still need to get to us. Wait, what the fuck? We can deploy defenses with these guys? <laughs> what? I didn't, I've never seen that before. <laughs> with the actual range, or the melee units, we can put the, the defenses down. Um, do I put them down? Is that actually good for me? Because they don't work in the forest, do they? No, they disappear. It has to be out there. But we don't necessarily want them to not have a straight path towards us, I don't think. I don't think that's going to really help us, but it's interesting. Uh, yeah, let's just do an our, our forest like... Like a cell. 
As long as we're hidden in the forest, that's good. Alright. Can't wait to get some calf. So Orin gets a little bit more depth. Can I move you forward a little bit? Can I stay for fight? Dang it. Oh, I can't go any for... Okay. It's like, um... Seeing how far I can go while still being in the forest, but I actually just literally couldn't anymore because I should have had reached the end. <laughs> For a second, I thought everyone was going to sit there forever. And like, you wait, are they? No, they're moving. So you, you, you realize you're attacking, right? Make a fort. Oh man, yeah, I could have just. <laughs> well, it's not really. <laughs> it wouldn't have. It would have, wouldn't have been a good choice because obviously they would just shoot me out of it. But yeah, just make like a square of little walls. Would have been interesting if I had more range units, but I would have just been a sitting duck there. I think they beat you in the archery department. You're goddamn right. Stay in the forest. Yes, of course, sir. If I remember, when the influence reaches 50%, you can bribe the town and the army inside the town will be gone. Oh yeah, there's bribing in this of towns and stuff. Actually, things are starting to come back. I'm going to take you guys off fire at will. So I actually don't think I want them to... I, want, I, I don't want them to see me until they see me, basically. Hold on, actually, is that... Yeah, wait, no, there's bow units there too. Damn it. I was going to say, if that's just their melee line up front, I can just start shooting them a little bit with my generals. A bit of skirmishing. Don't you get the enemy army if you bribe the town? Yeah, I think you do. That's what I was thinking. I use them with Yari Wall, it's Yari Amazing. Oh yeah, for sure, but of course we don't have Yari Wall because of stupid Naganata Levy. In vanilla, it's a great idea to protect Yari Wall flanks and tunnel... Uh, yeah, definitely. It's good weather to eat arrows. <laughs> um, nom 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 nom! Arrows for breakfast! <laughs> Delicious! A nutritious breakfast for one and all. Okay. Can we get a fucking move on, please? I'm not in a... I don't like this not being, like, even towards them kind of deal. So let's move back a little bit. As long as I walk, we're not going to be seen. Otherwise, we're going to be getting shot for longer on this flank here. Which is not... Not what I want. Also, we're going to absolutely destroy them on the flanks, because they've only got their bow levy on the flanks. They have stronger, or like, more units in the middle, but luckily I put my Naganata tenants there. Even though, even so though, they have like, five units they're fighting. Eh, let's shot them in there as well. Yeah, that's fine. Now you go against them, you go against them, etc. Et et we're about to be in range. But, I've got them off fire at will. Basically, the moment they see me, that's when I start running forward. Oh, charges. They're going for my general, I guess. Speaking of, let's put back him up a little bit. Well, you can stay up here, because you're hidden. Treacherously meant to ambush us! Oh, they can see my other generals well now. We are firing with those generals, that's fine. There we go. Fire! Charge! Oh, there's a fucking unit right here, hello. Get into the bows, boys. Get into the bows, boys. Bows, boys. Generals, get up. Shoot there. General. The nice thing about the general being ranged of the enemy is that they're just going to sit there getting shot indefinitely. I also will do some inspiring. Shoot there, general. Danger, my lord. This is why units suck in this game. Their morale is fucking terrible. Look at this unit on the flank here. Oh, we've already broken. God damn it. I hate this game. I remember now. <laughs> Quick. Rally them. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, we're broken through here. Get in there. Get in there. Get onto that general. Where's my unit? Oh, it's just straight up gone as well. It doesn't. It's not even come, gonna come back anymore. It's a bow unit there. Fucking charge him. I wanna kill that general. We've done a little bit of damage to him. Oh, fuck no, they came back. Or they routed just at that time. Oh my god, we're, we're losing everything. Those are two bow units. Fucking get in there. General's down to 17, man. If we can kill him, we're gonna be okay here. This is actually, like, difficult in this one. Because units are so easily routable. 
Okay, we're starting to break through here though. Okay, we broke through everything there. That's good. Yeah, the right flank was definitely stronger on my side. Okay, the general's gone as well. This is a field battle though, so I gotta kill as much as possible. Okay, let's just get you in there and melee. Fuck it. Need to hold the line. To some degree. Get in there. That is getting properly flanked, but I'm surprised they haven't fully routed yet, to be honest. Let's get you to actually attack stuff now instead. Because I'd rather just route them right now than sitting here doing... Attacking in the rears of stuff. My lord! A glorious victory will soon be yours! But you can kind of tell why Levy Infantry cannot be relied on like Yari Ishigaru. They route so quickly, it's absolutely crazy. I've had units route in this game that lost like... Five men. And they, and they literally routed after that. It's crazy. Um, counter charge. Apparently Cav and Rise of Summer is pretty broken because all units is almost on, lo on loose formation. Yeah, but Cav is really small on this. I, can't, I don't quite remember how much, but it's like 20 men. And then a the hero is like 10 or something. It's ridiculous. Makes... Uh, wait, hold on. Legendary donkey quotes from over the years. Bobo, Yari, Yari, Bo. <laughs> I mean, they're literally just guys you walk up to, hand the and say, point it that way, and that's their training. Rise of the Samurai, total peasant. That's true. But still, you'd expect a little bit more from them. Once they get experience, though, every, every experience is basically a, a morale, which is just a huge boon already. Okay, there should be more to kill, right? Yes. There's loads more to kill. Get over here. Um, and then there's another unit up there as well. Okay. I think they might actually get away. They're pretty close already. That one's going to be killed by range. So let's just go for that one as well. I'm straight through this unit. Actually, we, I think we just killed one of our own horses right there. That's another full turn of replenishment. <laughs> Shoot them. Okay, we did a little bit more damage. I mean, we have wounded them enough, I think. A call of the day. Rise of the Samurai isn't about hit unit hit points, it's about morale. Yes, it definitely is. Don't forget the stronger than I got the unit has rapid advance. Oh yeah, good point. Remember about merging to concentrate XP gains. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir! Uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea in this particular case. Although, I think we'll do some more battles. Eh, actually, I think it probably makes more sense to merge them first. Otherwise, I might lose them in the battles. Lost our trade with the Sasaki, what? Is it because they betrayed me? Minus seven, fantastic. I'm actually gonna have to send several units in there to keep this place happy. As well as take all of this right now. Do I send back the wounded units? But then I only have like three infantry units left over. Can I get a general in there from here? No. It's just, it it kind of looked looked like it for a second. I guess I can get a missionary in there or Metsuke for the moment. I'd lose a little bit of money, but sorry, a Junsatsushi. Can you get in there? Because it's the least rich town. No, you can't. I didn't recruit any last time, so actually 1721. That one's actually less rich. Do you actually give me happiness? Yep, one. All right, get, make your way in there for now. Please reach. And I think he's just fucked me, because now that's probably... I don't know, maybe they can still reach. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's try one unit first. Okay, okay, okay we can still reach. Alright, um, well in that case, I think we're just going to move the two more dead units in there. And we may have to fight these ones manually, but... Yeah, that's fine, I can carry him inside, okay. So that's fine for now. And then he will make this happier as well, and I can recruit another one probably. Right? No, I can't, actually. Actually, it is not possible at all. Um, okay, so that's a building I can do. I can upgrade this still. It's barren soil, but it's probably still worth it for the food right now. Is that anything else I can do? This is... Uh, yeah, that one as well. Um, well. Let's start with this one. This is barren soil. No, meager is better than barren. So, yeah, we'll just go for the food. Do I upgrade that one as well right now? Fuck it. And then I've got enough money to recruit a couple of units, which I will. Let's get an archer. And then we'll get another one of these boys here. Oh, we can't afford that. Well, never mind on the archer then. One more of these. Right, then we attack. 
Um, if we attack him, everything else comes out without the garrison. So we get to kill the general. They will spawn a new general, though. So killing the general is actually bad. We probably want him to survive, but that's okay. Still want to do it this way anyway. Okay, two half dead archers. Then another archer, and I'm going to have to do it in one general. Yeah, that, that I don't know why that's so poor, but sure. Um... And defending is a nightmare like no wall equals lose. Send ninja in first. I could have sabotaged, but... Oh, you mean send ninja in to the units that I was moving over to make sure they could reach? Uh, not sure if that's what you meant, but it's too late now. I think you need as many troops as possible. Well, I'm sure I do. Yeah, actually, uh, speaking of that, I might cancel the Naganata uh, attendant and recruit more actual units right now. I will take dry. A lovely, a lovely day in the field of battle. We have the ranged advantage now. Actually, put you in the center again. All right. Are you gonna come towards me? No. How foolish. I shall make my way towards you. Right, where's the reinforcements though? Hmm. Very suspicious, I see. I'm still gonna run towards them, I think. Although currently I'm walking. Hey, I'm walking here! I can try and kill them with the bow, uh, the general generals, but I'm probably gonna take too many shots for that to be worth it, to be honest. There's the general coming in. Okay, well, I mean, if that unit's by itself over there, that still works out to some degree. Let's start running up here. We could still kill that unit if I just send one Naganata Levy to be gun f or like sh fodder, basically. And then send the generals, o generals over. Although, right now, I really ought to just do this. Although, I'm gonna take some shots here. Eh, one volley, perhaps. One volley for sure. Our general is in great yeah. danger, my lord. Lost a couple of guys. Could have been worse. Oh shit! Now their general's coming over now. Fucking shoot them. Other archer, shoot them. Get out of here, generals. That's actually going to be really painful. You actually get back as well. In fact, just start charging the general. Just, I think this is going to be a little bit faster than I expected it to be because we're basically full on fighting over here now. If I can get him in, in there, we should be alright. Although, to be careful, because we can get shot by that unit and that one's going to wreck me as well, so... Just get in here quickly. Wait, what the fuck are you doing? I'm pretty sure I told you to attack, but that must have... Oh, right, I told... Oh, I see. I see what's going on here. <laughs> well, uh... Oof, you're getting wrecked already. Generals, let's get around here as well. I need to get you to flank it, or to send you in there quickly. General not doing too well. I kind of want the general to survive, like I said. Let's get you guys lined up against the other archer unit. Wait, no, I'm fucking taking the wrong units again. You're the archers, you're the fucking melee guys. Get in here. Okay, we're not going to have to attendance of arrive, which is good, because that unit's not going to do too hot. Damn. A cutting blow. Yeah, cutting blow, except that means we have to kill another general right now. Let's just send you over there now. Get you in there. Shoot my archers. I don't care about my archers as much as my infantry. Alright, there go a day. Then we get in there. These units I do want to kill fully. Get in there! Generals, get in there too. And that should route pretty soon, I'd imagine. There we go. Alright, cool. Go kill them, please. You might want to stop firing now. All right, cool. That was decent. Interesting battle. That's already more battles in this stream so far than we had in the entirety of the uh, Fall of the Samurai campaign. What got away? Nothing. Maybe charges Archer Jack. Okay, too late. Ah, yes, the general never charges in this. They just shoot arrows. Well, yeah, you got to turn them into melee, but then, yeah. Imagine a medieval two-faction leader bodyguard in this battle. Or they, uh, I never played vanilla, but I heard great things about Heavy Cav in that game, so I'm assuming they're super strong. So yeah, General died, and then they just spawned a new one, so that kind of sucks. 
They're also they're building a Khan estate, which I almost want to let them build it up. Should I give them a turn? No, because I don't think I'd want it. Nah, fuck it. Take it. Uh, yeah, final. Fine, I'll do another battle. If that's what you want, Sasaki Shigeriori. Mm. The AI general, yeah. Um, which is very convenient. I mean, they do kind of hurt, but it means you can fire back at them rather, rather than like the generals and regular Shogun 2 that kind of charge all over the place and then you can't hit them with arrows. And this one you can actually kind of whittle them down over time. Whittle them down over time. Um, this army is starting to get weaker and weaker here, but so be it. We shall keep recruiting. We will, we will fight them on the beaches. And I gotta get out of the... I should probably walk actually first. Gotta get out of that thing where I always put my generals behind, because they have a ranged weapon as well. More blood for the blood god. The pace of action is enjoyable, good. I am back baby! Hello Emil Pell. Welcome back. Right, the bow units there. Alright, well. Actually, just keep triple speeding for now. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. I might actually do, um, instead of doing Teach Me Senpai Sunday, I might start it next week, because now that I'm starting this campaign, I kind of want to continue it tomorrow. I'm actually enjoying this right now. So maybe tomorrow I'll do another one of this stream. And then, um, like next week, I'll start Teach Me Senpai Sunday. I have more time to set it up properly as well. It's good. Okay, let's get you over here. And you're gonna lure them forward. Because you do it so well. It's nice actually that you ha your own unit has ranged as well, so you can see exactly how far they could possibly shoot. Wait a sec, is Mashlock unit exist in this? Hold on, if I pause, can I... No, hold on, can I do it like this? Yes. I think they actually, there is some kind of... Or isn't there? It is, no, there's firebomb throwers. I mean, that's as far as it goes for explosive stuff. Yeah. There is an arsenal building, though. I don't know what the arsenal building does. Does it just make you support a certain football club, or...? Um, Rise of the Samurai? Uh, it's like the last building somewhere. So I'm just gonna look. There you go, Arsenal. That's the okay. That's the final upgrade of the uh, like the town watch thing, the one that gives you a garrison. It gives you firebomb first. Okay, but yeah, no gun units or anything. Oh, anything. Okay. Let the firing commence. I'm actually, not entirely in range. I guess I move up a little bit. Let's. Oh. Are you even firing? It certainly doesn't look like it. Fire! Yeah, now I've got the entire unit firing. Things will go a little bit faster. In terms of murdering the enemy. That was a big folly just now. So a lot of blood. See you later. Don't come back here. Still, the enemy general is a bit dangerous, though, so we gotta be careful of him. But if this, this unit just comes over here, I'll just shoot it down. Legolas! Although. That unit's coming back and it's gonna shoot at my general, I'm guessing. God, I can't wait for Foot Samurai to actually be effective in shooting. As opposed to this trash, what's going on here? You're kind of getting caught. Oh, just about evaded that. Nicely done. I really want to kill that unit sooner rather than later, though. Okay, killed that one. Just form a line over here now. There's no more ranged. Except for that one, which means there is still ranged. But not for long. There you go. They're shattered. 
kill the remainder of that unit, please. If you wouldn't mind. Thank you. Okay, let's move up and start shooting the last unit here. No, 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 no. There's an enemy general. I think I actually, yeah, I lose the volley with this unit. <laughs> hey, what's, what are you doing? Get in line. I don't know if you're the general or not, but I'm not going to take any fucking chances, am I? Okay, there's the enemy general, which we'll do quite a bit. In fact, we should just get you guys up there now. Because they will do a lot of damage to my units. So I'd better not take as m much if I don't have to. Could very easily lose a general as well at this point. One lucky shot. Shooting at my Naganata levy. Fair enough. Are you guys all firing? No, you're not. Move up a little bit. So say Get in there, boys. The extra one armor we've had uh, from our special faction thing has actually probably proved to be quite useful so far. I can only imagine. All right. No, no, don't do this weird thing that you're doing right now. Get in there. Yeah, charge. There you go. Get, get them Naganatas out, boys. Oh, the volley coming in as well. We're capturing the town too. This unit is not bothered at all. Oh, they are. They are bothered now. They've just decided that they were bothered. Okay, shoot it, please. I'd like to keep... Yes, there we go. Break it before we actually have to fight it, because our, our army is getting a little bit weak now. And I, uh, I'm i getting a little bit worried. If we get declared war on by someone else, we have no units to defend with. Use rapid advance. Oh, fuck! I keep forgetting. Sorry. 137 people watching an unpopular expansion to an 8-year-old game. Not too bad, Mr. Smart Monkey. Thank you, dude. Hey, what did I miss? Uh, depends on <laughs> when the last time you were here. I saw I saw you were here at the start of the uh, Fallout Samurai campaign. I don't know if you were here at any point after that, though. Things have changed somewhat in this in in the today's stream <laughs> or streams, I suppose. All right, cool. Well, we got that under control. Uh, I think yeah, it's definitely time to start recruiting units. Let's cancel that one because I think I definitely want to recruit more units right now. Can get another ninja too, but let's hold off on that for now. Could also get a barter exchange, but I think the units are just a bit more important. Let's get a boy here and a boy here, and then perhaps I even get a boy here. God, I hate the Naganata Levy, and here I am recruiting more of them. So yeah, this guy—if we get a threat of attack from him, we might actually be in some trouble, to be honest. Although I don't know how far. Yeah, he gets Key and Kawachi, so I'd have to form an army in Kawachi, and if it takes Key, we just have to deal with it. Out of curiosity, what exactly... Is, yeah, Request of Legions has got to be 50%. Okay, how, what's the chance of Sabotage at level 1? Uh, 36 is not actually that bad for a level 1 ninja. That's not terrible at all, though the army's quite small as well, of course. Okay, right, well, we got it all under control. I can get some more trade. Adachi... Let's do it. I am here to listen. When you have spoken and spoken in honesty, I always speak in honesty. I give a, proper a proper response, you say? Well, I'll take one of those right now. Ochi, will you take me? Yes. Give me a little bit of money here. Today ends well. I'm gonna go hundred bucks, now maybe. Speak of your wishes. Gotta feed my people, dude. Thank you so much. Very kind. All right, cool. Um. In this game, can you switch allegiance? No, you can't, right? Because there's free. There's no. Def there's definitely no switching. There's no switching of the allegiances. Um. All right. Oh, I've definitely been forgetting to. S oh yeah, damn! I totally fucked that up. All these battles, I've been leading with the daimyo, which means I'm gonna. He's 58 years old. He's gonna die soon. I was gonna do it with the, the sun there, but I totally forgot to do that. Well, oopsie. Maybe let's try and f remember it from now on. I only played Britannia campaign once, waste of 60 bucks. <sighs> I still think it's okay. I kind of wouldn't mind playing it again. There was a pretty decent mod release for it recently that I might want to try out, but probably not on stream because I imagine no one will watch. But I guess I can just switch campaigns on the fly like I did so far, so. What the fuck? People's got so many ships over here. No threat of attack just yet. I mean, it doesn't mean they don't declare war on me now. Recruit a unit in Iga, and I get plus four repression across all provinces. That'll be nice. 
try to disrupt it with the Adachi on account of them being dead. All right, fair enough. It's a pretty good reason not to be trading with me anymore. If you're going to give any kind of reason, that was a good one. And I want the barter exchange. Let's exchange some barters, shall we? I want to get another... Um, another Junzatsushin. I'm going to shove you back in here, to be honest. If you don't reach, I'm going to fucking... I'm going to kill you. Okay. Um, let's get one here. I'd like uh, another Monomi as well. I guess I will. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Because we have no buildings to build right now, so I might... Well, we have some stuff I could upgrade technically, but I'd rather just get more units right now. So, I guess I'm kind of building a second army here too. This place is super happy now because of the plus four, to be fair. Um, I mean, every place is. You kind of want to go in there. Well, we can have one in either army for the moment, I suppose that's fine. I'm going to merge these troops now. Although that, well, yeah, just for the replenishment per turn, it's still probably worth it. Not to keep experience, though, because I didn't keep any there. Well, I kept almost half a bar, I suppose. That can go away. Um, okay, so how many arts have I got right now? I've got two in here, which definitely means I want to get some more in here. I've got two in here, and I've got none in here. Okay, let's get an archer here and an archer here, and then those two are supposed to all go into Kwachi. Kwachi. I need to get, um... The regular recruitment building. I really, I just need to expand up here at some point so I can start actually making full-on recruitment provinces, especially since we're getting the encampment soon. But otherwise, we're doing all right here, just kind of expanding. I want to get this middle bit under control, so we want to take Yamato, we want to take Ize, and then I guess Tamba. But you know, as long as our ally doesn't betray us, we're okay. We're okay. And then the ships are all the yeah, the attendants, light, medium, and large ship, and then you have. Samurai, Attendance, Medium and Large Ship. Okay, sounds bueno. Let's keep trucking along for now. I have level up for a Jin Satsushi though, probably the one in here. Aye. Okay, so I definitely want to go for Overseeing Town still, which uh, means level two, we can just put, or level three, we can just put two points in there, no problem. Bribing and paying off, uh, spreading influence and requesting allegiance. Agent action cost overseeing towns under the plus one there. Spreading overseeing armies. I think that was, those three points are the only points I get from overseeing towns, which means I'm just gonna put two points in here. Spread that influence, son. Questing allegiance, that's better than a little bit of extra movement. All right. All right, T then. 95% chance. Securing the allegiance of the local lord will grant you the entire province, although you may only be able to secure the allegiance of some of the Gastel garrison. Be warned, unless the clan is pledging its last province to you, securing the allegiance of a province or part of it, its garrison will be considered an act of war. Okay, so if I do it here... Um, they, they own more provinces, so yeah, that would actually mean that they would go to war with me. War. War never changes. See, so yeah, I can't currently do it anywhere. Also, well, they only have two towns. I guess I, I mean, I can still do it, and then I get that one, and then I just kill the rest. But that's just an act of war. I might just be able to, I might just run over there and take it instead. So, how long does this last? Four more turns. I'm kind of tempted just to get the armies together right now. I wanna. I can't really expand anywhere. I guess just except Tamba. Um, because happiness is pretty much sorted. For a little bit at least. How happy is this place? Nine. So I think I could just get the army out of here regardless. Well, minus one unit, yes. So let's gather you guys in... Well, I'm waiting for stuff. I can't get anything out of here. That one's just unhappy. Okay, so let's just build this one up more. We got an archer coming. And I guess, yeah, we got an archer coming here as well. That's going to go in there. But I guess I might as well just recruit that one here instead. If we're going to go that way. Um... So that's two more archers, then I definitely need two more infantry, but then we've got a decent setup. Although I don't know what's actually in here. Nothing currently. Do they own any more towns, Shinlin? Nope, they own one town. The army might just be... Oh, might just be sitting outside, though, to be fair. I can't just quite see them. Also, let's quickly do that. 28, 27. Oh, I, yeah, never mind. I didn't get any extra income because we didn't actually get overseeing towns just now. Okay. 
let's keep trucking along, shall we? Will you ever play Medieval 2 Shog Total War? <laughs> Medieval 2 Shogun 2. Uh, I, 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 uh, the base game, probably no. I, um... I've played the Third Age Total War Three Kingdoms. No, not, not the Three Kingdoms, the fuck. Third Age, Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer campaign. Um, a, couple, a bunch of times. Uh, they've got a bunch of Let's Plays with the channel, uh, on the channel of, of that. Um, but um, I'm not planning on doing any Medieval 2 streaming or anything. Not, not right now, at least. Uh, going for that gives us fire arrows later on as well, which is not bad. Most of the stuff here is just a bit meh. Rice patties, I mean, I guess, but... Per turn of economic growth from Master Yards, that's actually pretty good, because that's per fi five per turn in every single town. That'll add up pretty quickly. Plus 10% success chance for Dungeon Sushi actions isn't terrible either. Daimyo Honor isn't terrible. Clan White Happiness is not bad. Buddhist Temple also allows us to get some other units. But overall, I think getting uh, fire arrows earlier than rather than later is not a bad idea. So let's do that. We've recruited some units. Let us get some more units so we can get out of here, essentially. Ten. Oh yeah, we can easily... Well, no, yeah, we have minus one happiness. But the Long Clan Legions will probably make it better soon. Oh, it's also exempted. I don't know how long that's been the case, but oopsie. I did not realize that. So it's actually not as happy as I thought. It's actually really quite unhappy still. But I can also just exempt it in the future if I have to. I'd rather just keep expanding, to be honest, for the moment. Uh, so we'll meet in Kyoto. Get this unit in from there as well. Really? Fucking carry them inside, please. And then I need two more infantry units. At least. Probably just recruit more than that, to be honest. What can I build? Is that our only option now? No, we still got more markets we can build as well. So, uh, let's do wherever we have dudes making us money. We already got that one. Kawachi is actually poorer than Iga is. Oh god, this is already unhappy. Okay. Well, then I guess I gotta recruit one in here just for happiness sake. Yeah. I gotta make use of this uh, plus four happiness across the provinces to expand faster. So you're gonna go in here, or Omi is richer, isn't it? Much richer, let's go in there instead. And then it's also happiness, so that's the main reason why I want them though. Do I actually have five already? Nope, I got four, I just haven't gotten to the markets, okay. Uh, and then we have a ninja who's gonna go check out what exactly is going on over here. So I'm assuming their army's just setting outside or something, but... Because they don't own anything else other than this, so there's a good chance it's just in the forest here, so let's see if we can discover it. We encountered the Kusu... what was that? Kusunoki, okay. Whatever you say, boss. Fucking no one around here is the right allegiance, except for the Ochi. Who would like to be allied to me, but I don't trust that. And I want to take them out sooner rather than later, because I want these towns. Although currently it's actually only these two, but still, I do expand that way. Force Rebellion and Omi to sort public order quicker. Hmm. Not a terrible idea, sir. Do I even have... Yeah, but I have what it takes. Army's a bit fucked, though. I don't know how large the Rebellion would be. Uh, probably not that large. We'll see, I guess. We'll, the entire campaign is fucked now because I do this. The downside is that it could spawn somewhere and then my army might not be inside the town. That would be the main problem we have. If it, like... Well, I guess it's probably gonna spawn up here somewhere be fucking miles away. Just ruin everything for me. Um... I mean, it's I could, but I'm also not really looking to expand that fast necessarily. I think I'm okay actually with what we're doing right now. Do I want to get rid of this lady? I can't, so that's a good idea. All right, end of turn. I think we attack Tamba this coming turn. Although maybe I wait another turn. Oh, hello. Did they just kill that army? I think I think maybe they just ran into an ambush and fought. It doesn't look like they have an army, so I think I can just take this almost for free right now. Ooh, 
Uh, I'm currently going for martial. Yeah, I'm going for the fire arrows. So yeah, that's fine. And uh, yeah, I discovered a concealed army, but that was just that unit. So yeah, there's nothing actually here. They must be at war. Uh, wait, who is this next to me? The Shinman. No, wait, they just took something. Fuck. They, oh, they've got this one right here. Okay, well, I could take this for free, and then they, you know, I'm at war with them. Are you at war with the Koida? Is that what's going on? Um, Shinman. You are. I somehow haven't discovered it yet, although I'm assuming if I move you like a... Yeah, there you go. Alright, so the Koida are Tyra, and they own the town further west, okay. And that's the Kusun Kusunoki, right. That's this one here. What the fuck? How did the fuck... How did... Hell, these guys come from here. How the hell did they go to get all the way over here? This makes no sense. Right, whatever the case, I'm about to take the shiz. Uh, yes, yes. All right, fine. All right, now you guys are just gonna attack it. Great. Do I auto result this one? You guys want to see another battle? It'll be another straight up just fucking archer spam battle, but I guess fuck it, let's do it. Yari Macy! Yari Macy! Thanks for the sub. By the way, is Total War Rome 2 worth buying? It is now in my book, no. I find Rome 2 rather lackluster. The thing is, it, I, like. I, in these kind of cases where people ask that kind of question, I just say, like, watch some videos and, and see what you think. Well, watch recent videos, yeah. But it's def I think, like, in terms of, you know, whether you like it or not, that's one thing. But in terms of how much content there is for the price, I'd say Rome 2 is definitely worth buying. There's so much stuff to do in it. And, you know, if you like the Rome 2 era, then that's, like, almost enough. You know, I don't like the game that much personally, but I know there's a lot of people that do. It's one of the most popular Total War games still out there. If you are gonna buy it though, you should check the link in the description. It's currently it, it doesn't it doesn't link to you know what I can I can make you a custom one. Give me one second here. To uh to two game. It's gonna be kind of a long link, but Rome two. Do they have like a God no not Blood Bowl two? Total War Rome the Emperor Edition. There you go, that's the one you want, isn't it? Okay, you should use this link. Um, and then use the code Smart Donkey at checkout. Not actually that whole thing, just Smart Donkey. And then you get a you get a good discount. Actually, I don't know how much, how much is that? It's uh, 25 quid, 70% off, 17% off, sorry from Steam, and then you get an extra 10% off on top of that if you use my link. Isn't it great? Right, guys? So it's like a 27% discount total. Although it doesn't exactly work like that, but it's like it'll be 25% or so. Anyway, let's battle. We have a big old ranged advantage here. The two units I get reinforcements are just melee, so I don't care too much. Try and catch Steam discounts if you can. Yeah, you can also just wait for, you know, the Christmas sale on Steam is going to be here in, you know, a couple of weeks probably. Just wait for that. You get it for 50% off, maybe 75% off or something. Steam has got great deals as well, obviously. Thanks for the sub. I also f I always feel like it's impersonal when I say just thanks for the sub instead of thanks for the sub person, like with the name. But I can't see the name, so I don't know who subscribed, which makes it difficult for me to say thank you to that person specifically. Alright, I think we're just going to do... Actually, we're going to move forward a little bit more here. <laughs> Shut up. Mizuma. Also, hello Mizuma. How are you going? Alright, made a unit charge. I guess that works too. And the melee or and the range units. I should probably get my infantry up here, just in case. Just in case this becomes a bit of a problem. 
Right, which one of you bastards is my general, huh? Who is it? Fucking hell, to see the, the speed on that. Alright, uh, am I gonna get me up, be able to get my units up front? Grave danger, you say? Well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. Grave danger. Come after me, fiend. I will strike you down. I wounded them enough that this should be a fairly simple, straightforward battle. Also, I could just charge that unit you know, in melee with my general, but... Alright, fire back at that particular unit, please. Oh, they fucked up. I didn't realize. Can I grab them, please? Wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to forget this time. Oh, it didn't matter because they already came back, but still. They actually f they got me there a little bit because my, my charge became really pointless. Holy fuck, you're tired. You're the guy who came running earlier. There's another bow unit. Maybe I just go mail it. Let's fucking charge in right now. It's not gonna be, this is going to be kind of a painful battle here, to be honest. Let's get my general involved. Much more painful than the previous ones. Simply due to the fact that I'm having the charge right away because of the... This unit kind of ruined me. Absolutely ruined me. At least they're not interested in fighting yet, so that works. And these guys are still holding on, which is kind of impressive too. Okay, give some in inspiring pep talks to this unit here. Okay, you guys get your asses in there. General, get the fuck out of there. We absolutely wrecked the archer unit though, yeah, the cav is fucking insane against those weak archer units. Oh, we got the bow levers in melee too? Alright, this will work out. Glorious victory! Will soon Glorious be victory. My favorite, a kind of a victory. Get in there, son. Can I get a mass route on three? Uh, one, a two, and a three! Yeah, perfect. I timed that one well. Uh, proud of myself. I'd like to thank my mom. Oh my god, you see the units get... Look at this guy here. <laughs> Jesus, he went flying. He got knocked into the house or something. <laughs> this one over here as well. What the fuck? I want to see this. Oh, oh my god. That was... You heard bones snapping and everything. That was painful. Anyway, thanks for the time. Used to watch your Sugar 2 videos back in 2015. Loved them. Well, what changed, man? Well, you're back now, I suppose. That's so alright. Yeah, me good, you. I'm good, Mizuma. Thanks, dude. Um, it's not depression. It's just big sad. <laughs> the man with the longer hat and boy. The general in this are really scary archer unit too. Damn my eyes. I, I am go to sleep. It's like five in the morning here. Oh, good night, dude. Don't worry much about casualties. Units and Shogun two to the war get experience from casualties as well as IRC. They get experience from dying. Huh? In both another fall of summer and rise of summer, they get experience from sustaining up to twenty percent casualties. Interesting. Will you sm miss the smell of meatballs throughout the house when you move out? <laughs> what? What? Thanks for the time. Mighty kind of you. Just give it to me like that. Oof. I'm gonna get a Shirobyoshi before I demolish this building. Absolutely fucking demolished. Could keep it around for a bit. But, uh, no. I mean, I. Good, but no. Right, we have some money. Could upgrade this, but I don't get anything else out of it. When I, what do I need for these guys? Just the Buddhist Sanctuary, that's the first tier, right? I could upgrade this to get more buildings here, but this isn't where I'm going to be recruiting my units, so for the moment. Then again, though, I do kind of need to make sure I take this soonish and start getting my... Because otherwise I'm just going to be... I'm, I don't have any recruitment buildings other than this one. And I might get out-tiered at some point. So let's start spamming out these guys a little bit more. And then, because we're going to have more happiness problems, let's get some more units out. Let's get some bow levy here. Key is totally fine. This place is pretty unhappy. So let's get another uh, Naginata levy here. And this place is well happy, but whatever. Kyoto is totally fine. And Tamba. I want more... We got two more of those guys on the way. Let's get another bit of infantry, actually. And a ninja. Can you get a cheap 48%? We'll do it anyway. I was going to say it's cheap experience, but 
I'll pay 50 bucks for free experience. Could have had it for free. Could have had it all. 32 years old, what the hell are you doing? What the hell are you waiting for? I can get more units, but I don't really... I guess I could get some more units. So, the units in here are supposed to be in this army. But they're not right now, due to unhappiness. So let's just get another Naganata Levy in here as well. We're making kind of a lot of money right now, so I'm actually okay with this. Kusunoki. Give me some fucking money, you little bastard. I said... Give me some fucking money. I said money. Thank you. Good deal. Good talk. Alright, that's it. You want to peace out? Not take in one of your towns? No. I don't really want to expand over there, so I hope they get taken out by someone else. But we'll see. We shall see soon enough. My vassal's taken... Oh, sorry, my ally has taken the town as well over there. Yeah, those guys are the ones I want to take out. Although they're the only town... Oh, god. They're, only they're down to a single town now. Oh, man, actually. Well, I can't do it now because I'm too far away, but yeah. I actually would have a pretty high chance of doing this. Oh, actually, it's only 65. Well, no, this guy has a higher chance. He can't reach, though. 95%. And this would become mine. And their, I guess their army? Would their army join me, too? Or is it just the garrison? I'm not entirely sure how that works. But yeah, then this... Because this guy's going to fuck them over. Uh, Sugawara. You're not actually the same allegiance. Well, war with him is coming soon, then, I guess. That's okay. Yeah, Shirobu Yoshichi. You entertain nobles, which increases... Um, well, or like growth, which is nice, but I guess for the moment you just need to get experience though, level up. You are going to keep going after this dude. 48% chance again. Damn, you fucking failure. I hate you. I hope you die. Sorry. Maybe a bit, I went a bit too far there, but you know. Um, okay. So that's the only, that's the people we're at war with now. They're basically dead already. There's the Ochi who are going to get taken out if they don't go back and deal with this stuff. I mean, it's whatever to me, but also there's the bow attendants, the second tier archer unit, like a bow samurai, if you will. Uh, I want to get the final Junsetsushi. What's the next richest town? So we got uh, Tamba. Kawachi is slightly richer, Iga is more richer, more richer? Just, just richer. You're gonna go in there. Then, my good dudes, I want to get another archer in here. Let's get some archers in here. And I need more happiness here, so I need at least one more unit. Possibly two. That's going away next turn, so yeah, we need to recruit a unit here. This is, let's get two archers then. Although archers are more expensive, so technically, yeah, it's only 10 bucks more, I'm not too worried about it. And, well, more money they cost to recruit as well, but if I'm going to use these units at some point, I might as well have them actually be good. Or, you know, the right units. Okay. This army's going to hang out here. I do need to build something here. Um, am I, I guess I could cancel the food thing that I'm building right now. Where was that? Iga? No, here. The market. But, uh, nah, there's no point. There's just no point! Hi, enjoying your Free Kingdom series? Thank you. Alright, thank you, Call CR. I am glad you're enjoying them. I woke up for a little bit this morning and your stream was playing and I just kept it open for two hours and went back to my nap. It was very soothing sleeping to your voice. Thank you. You're very welcome, my dude. Oh, what the fuck just happened? I wasn't paying attention. Well, that faction, that clan's dead now. Our monomy was detected. Well, it's a massive failure anyway, so that's okay. A cunning wife. Uh, Munamori. Is that my son and heir? Minus 5% of the character's chance of being assassinated. Eh. I'd rather have this gun one, to be fair, but... Oh, well. Ochi are dead. We've encountered a car company. Sweet. Okay, who wants some fucking trade? You. Yes, you do. I know it. I got them sweet deals. While I offer some sweet deals, I just told you this. Kind of prefer if you listen to me in the first place. I don't like having to repeat myself, but hey. 50 bucks. I mean, that's definitely something we could talk about. 
Where do you live, Mr. Okura? Okay, I'm, you're not... Oh, shit, okay. If I attack the Sugawara, I have to go to deal the war with them as well. I was gonna say, because they live just outside the range where I'm gonna attack. But not actually. Honda are over there. Okay, I don't want to expand that way, so I'll take trade with you for sure. Speak. And do not mumble. Speak and do not mumble. I do mumble a lot, to be fair, Mr. Honda. You're right. I don't really mumble, it's just I don't always speak clearly because I'm like trying to run for my words. How much money would I make off this? 123. Well, I am willing to pay you a singular bitch, Koku. What do you say? No? What about 15, Koku? I mean, that's a lot of money. I bet you've never seen so much money in your life. 35? There we go. You drive a hard bargain, sir, but, uh, oof. What a deal. Fucking hell, I've met half the world already. What's going on here? Do you want to peace out yet? Because I would peace out. No? Fair enough. Suppose there is no peace for the weak, for the wicked, eh? Could you see, I mumbled there as well. Um, where has this army gone? Where has the rum gone, guys? Can someone explain this to me? Also, I had to level up on a Junsetsushi. Good. Very good. Overseeing armies. Eh, nah. I'll take the discreet mistress. Right, I got a couple more units. I want to get one in either army. So you're going that way. You're going... You're going that way. Tell me why. That's, I'm going to get more. I want more. I want to build a building here, too. I want a lot of things, apparently. Very needy, man. Um, okay, our our bonus of our happiness has run out now, so we've got a couple of times that are unhappy. I need to get another unit here, unfortunately. I need to get one more here as well. So that'll be another archer here, too. And then you're going to go in here, which actually means I don't need to get another unit. Which means I won't, because I actually want to save a little bit of money here. Um, so you're getting another infantry unit, but I think even so, probably want another infantry instead of archer. You're gonna go into an army, so let's just pop you in here, I guess, or a town for now. Then... Uh, what is a boy to do? That faction from here, that army that was that took this recently, is still on the offensive. So that's a bit interesting. I want to get more units in here as well. That's why I'm kind of wondering what I'm supposed to do, because that's what I'm supposed to do. I'll take another archer here. And then I'll take another archer here too, and then I think we've got two pretty solid armies. I'm really a little bit afraid of this now, actually. Oh, shit! It's Lee Pinson with another five bucks. You were the one who donated earlier as well, weren't you, Lee Pinson? Let me check that, so I don't look like an absolute fool here. Uh, yeah, Lee Pinson donated earlier too. Said, looking forward to the stream. Cheers. And now he's back with another five. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate it. Somehow the noise is still not there. It will come. A most there it is. Satisfactory end to our discussions. Most satisfactory end to our discussions, dude. Thank you so much for the five bucks. I appreciate it. Dr drinking game suggestion. Shot every time Donkey does a British accent. <laughs> this includes fire! Yeah, that's fair. I love doing British accents, dude. It's so much fun. Oh, there's that. Okay. So that's my enemy, right? I guess that's a decent place I can expand to then. I didn't really want to go westwards, but... A level up for the Junsatsushi. Oof. There goes the two Fujiwara clans. You hate to see it. It's a breakup. Lost trade with several clans. Ooh, the Honda. Is that because the Honda just died? I guess they did. They used to... But well, they had, like, three provinces or something. How the fuck hap did that happen? Kitabatake own all the way over here as well. They are quite large. Ooh, Kitabatake is quite large indeed. Am I trading with them? I am. Okay, so yeah, I've been trading with them for ages. For an age. Doi! Okay. Sure. Yep, they are indeed dead. Uh, you go in there. And you. You guessed it. I'm going in there. 
Can you stop being so loyal, man? I need you to attack me already. Food stores. That's the wrong building, too. You're making the wrong building, you fool. He's got a huge garrison, too. Five units. Oof. <laughs> Kitty Bukake. Yep. That's the one. <laughs> All right. Let's get that dude leveled up. Hey, dude. Here's your level up. You know what? Oof. Oh, we're seeing towns. Um, Cresting Allegiance, though. I'm kind of tempted. But no, this is better for the long long term. I was going to say, though, I kind of wanted to set him over here and just see if I can make this request allegiance. Although I don't, I actually don't know if it works on the final town. Yeah, it's actually going to take a long time to convert that. And that would cost me a lot of money to use those guys for conversion right now. So I'm actually not going to do that. You leveled up as well. How the fuck do I level you up? All right, let's have a look here. So don't care. Do care. Say so that that one probably is the right way to go. Then we got don't care, do not care. Wait. Okay, I do care. Two points in there, but that would be that would mean I have to put one point in there and two points in there for an extra one point of sabotaging army. So let's see if we get anything better. Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Assassinating is obviously good. Okay, this, this is actually kind of awkward. You have to go into two different trees here. But I definitely want to get the two points in there, so I guess we just shove a single point in there. Oh my god! Another five bucks from Lee Pinson. I forgot to ask, so here's another five. What's your favorite clan? Satisfactory end to our discussions. Our most satisfactory end to our discussions. My favorite clan is the Takeda because of the cavalry. I just love using cavalry in Shogun too. So they are my favorite clan for sure. Um, after that probably be the Oda, just because they're so strong. Actually, the Ikuiki, I always say Ikuiki is my second one, because they, you know, warrior monks are good, and I like or orange. Orange! Um, I don't actually know how to level them properly. I'm just going to put a point in here, simply because I think going here is good later on. I might as well get an extra point in here right now. Although, subterfuge ones establishing, establishing spy networks. Do I care enough to even put a single point in there for now? Um... Yeah, I, I know you guys are joking about the sound. Don't worry. I, I I know, I know it's fine. In fact, I can I I, I will check. But uh, yeah, it's still going. You little, you little you little bastards, you little shits. Oh, there you go. There's a drinking game for you. That was a British accent. <laughs> yeah, we shits. Um, yeah, fuck. It. I don't know if that's correct, but let's just do it. Incredible disguise. Look, I'm not a squid, right? Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Right, did I have another rank up? I had two mono that ranked up. That was the wrong one. So I'm gonna also level you up, weirdly, because I don't know how to level you up yet. Another incredible disguise, or the sushi chef, which is really good as well. Uh, yeah, fuck it. That gives him much more potential to get insanely good. Hello, Kobayakawa. Are you an enemy of my? Yes, you're an enemy of my ally. What the fuck? <laughs> what kind of journey have they made? <laughs> they, did they land a naval invasion or something? What the fuck are they doing all over here? Why is my voice so high? I'm so confused right now. Are you guys seeing this shit? Look, they came all the way from Boozen. What the fuck is going on there? Well... If they get inside, they might be able to defend it. If they don't, I have to possibly take them out, because that's actually kind of annoying. Or I could make the town... <laughs> yeah, because it's already Tyre, right? So I could just do the request the legions once they take it, and then I'll go to war with them, but at least I'll take this town from them, right? We'll see. We'll see how that works. Um, okay, I've got a little bit of money. Well, quite a bit of money left over. Let's see if what I want to spend it on. I think it might be time to finally get those. Or no, we got more markets to build. Okay. Also, that's already a town watch. Very nice of them to give that to me. Although you can upgrade that to different things. And I need to consider which is better. So this gives an extra repression, an extra two units. Uh, this one gives better recruitment capacity. Okay, so this you build in... This one gives replenishment as well. I uh, don't care too much about that. This, this one you build in normal towns, this one you build in your recruitment towns. I think it's going to be as simple as that. Which means the time watch is the better one. So it's it's leveled up appropriately right now. Anyway, I don't want to upgrade any more of those, I don't think. I don't care enough. 
Although you can get decent garrisons, I suppose, but nah. Let's spend more money recruiting units. I've already got two recruited coming there. Coming here. I want another archer here. And I have 255, five, and here I have 255 five as well. So currently, I guess I'll just keep it that way. Eh, maybe get another archer after that as well. And one more archer there too. This place on zero happen is about to be one, so I guess I can get an archer out of here. Send that one that way. Then in here we're still in zero happen, it's not gonna get any better yet. Okay. And then I guess we're gonna prepare for the war against these guys here. Might as well take that, I suppose. In fact, it might even be a, a decent idea to attack now. Eight happiness. I could probably keep this place happy with a an agent of some description. Because if I attack them next turn, they'll probably still be quite wounded. They'll replenish some. Oh wow, their replenishment's fucking horrible as well. I mean, that's going to be the best opportunity to attack right when they're that wounded. So I think we're just going to go. Can't quite reach this turn, but that's okay. Ninja will pop you in the army, I think. Unless I want to try and sabotage for more damage, but 600 bucks for that is not really worth it. And then I'm recruiting a unit here, which is going to keep this place happy. And I'll recruit another one after that. Well, I have to exempt it, of course, but that's... That's a story for a different day. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, moving out the general doesn't... It doesn't get the army in range, so... No, no boy, no. Alright. Alright. So, is the Ishima Tyra going to lose that town there? That's the real question right now. Wait, are those ships from that? Yeah, that's from that's from that faction that's just over there now. The Kikukukuku. Not the Kitabatake. Them. Okay, I think they just got their army killed, so never mind. That was them. <laughs> I think they just lost their town as well, so I think the entire clan just got wiped out. We'll see. Clan destroyed. Could have been it. Lost trade with the Sugawara. Mounting a rest of the Tamba, we knew that. Accuracy for all bow units, not really something I want right now. I think it might be time to go for some of this stuff over here now. Or not. Alternatively, it is not time for that at all. Um, climb one, I think one happiness across the board is not bad. Um, I'm trading a lot. This, I mean, it's tariffs only 25%, but still, I think that might be worth only three turns to do that. Could also go for this just to keep people a little bit happier, but let's go for that first. And then Clan Destroyed was indeed the Kobayakawa. Kobayakawa. Kobaya. That was perfect. I mean, the, not my singing, but it fit perfectly. Alright. I really wish I could get some roads as well, but they are hella expensive. Okay, so this place exempted will be okay for now. And then I want to get two more of these boys. Let's get them, boys. Build a market here. Do I have any more markets to build? Is there anything else that I can build? You know, that isn't that. Um, no. So yeah, let's get some of these ones. More money. In Omi before Key. Actually, Key is richer, so let's get the, the one in Key. Key, Key. Kiki, do you... Sorry. Alright, yeah, the army's still fucked. I think I might siege him out, though. Is this just the same level of town? It is indeed. It's just the town, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so they get an extra free units. Oh, let's just compare like this, because it's easier. We've got uh, five archers against their five. Theirs are a little bit wounded, but also a little bit experienced, so fair enough. Then they've got six infantry against my six, seven even, so I have them on infantry. And I have two Naganata attendants as well, they got a little bit of experience, but okay. And they have two generals against my, my my one. So I think if I fight it, it'll just be the same battle. I could siege them out, and then they attack me in the field, but I think this having them defend the town is working out pretty well for me, so I think I'm okay with that. What's this campaign? This is Rise of the Samurai. Beep Boop. Oh shit, is it actually the Beep Boop crew? Are they arriving? Because I was literally just thinking about st stopping the campaign, but I might do one more. Is this a sort of challenge, or is it just a normal campaign? It's just a normal, legendary Rise of the Samurai campaign. 
be a welcome if there are beep boops. I see a couple. It's not the, the usual raid, it looks like. Where are you from? I am from the Netherlands. Sorry, nope. No beep boop raid? It's okay. It's just it's just it's just my usual viewers coming from Legend Stream. Um let's do another battle, fuck it. Let's do one more. But yeah, just regular Rise of the Samurai. Been a long time since I played it. Beep Boop is just a troll from Legend Stream. I know, but he, he's here usually when Legend Stream ends as well. Sadly, this isn't a Legend Raid. I'm just a lonely bot who stopped by. Hey, you're very welcome, dude. We don't need to get a Legend Raid every day. As useful as it is, it also makes me feel like <laughs> my, my viewers are only here because Legend tells them. And Legend's a very strong personality. So you gotta do what Legend says. No, it's not entirely true. I'm mostly joking. Anyway, let's do it. Wait, where the fuck's their army at? Can I just not see them yet somehow? Hold on. Uh, okay, also weird frame drops when I'm holding the spacebar for some reason. What the hell? Okay, let's not hold the spacebar. Spacebar then. So yeah, it's going to be a mostly ranged battle again. Uh, yeah, you guys can walk. I'm not on a rush here. You're mean. Sadly, this... Oh yeah, I already read that. Diplomatic relations means you can haggle slightly more bitch cookies from AI. Eh, yeah, it's not going to matter too much though. No, it's just funny to... Re if you replace veg with vag in your statement, rhetorical joke. Thank you for your patronage. Wait, what? Against who is this? Fonts. What did Font say? Oh, about vegetarian. Okay, I can't even be able to read all that. I'm drunk, don't make me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. What's the hotkey to reorganize army in Shogun 2? How do you mean reorganize exactly? What the fuck do you mean, sir? Okay, there's the army. They've been spotted. Probably should be triple sweeping this as well. For being honest here. Alright. That looks like a pretty appropriate range to me. Is this... This is not going to have a levy though. Okay, I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work with pulling the enemy towards us, but... We're going to do it anyway. I guess we can... It, I mean, worst case scenario, we get free shots off on the Naganata levy before they react, right? Okay, there's one unit coming. Yeah, I'm happily... If there's no archers coming, I'll happily have one Naganata levy coming. Let's get you guys in position now, though. Let's do that, and then I'll keep these units sort of back. Because otherwise I just have too many units here. Oh, they've changed their minds. I guess it's because my general wasn't up front anymore. Oh, we've got a... Wait, what was that? That's just more Naganata. Yeah, let's keep leave the general up front, because that's what probably what they want to charge, right? I actually was kind of enjoying the one unit coming towards me, so please can we get that again? Hello? If you don't come towards me, I will proceed to start shooting you until I run out of ammo. Thank you. Okay, now shoot the shit out of it, please. Our general is, is, in is he? Danger, my lord. Are we shooting our own men again? God. How horrible are our archers, man? Okay, there we go. We're actually doing some damage now. Quickly! Definitely like I'm a general out of there. No, that one guy lingered behind, you fool. What have you done? Oh, they've broken already. Holy shit, that was quick. I'm actually not going to be able to do much against that. Unless I get my general in there. Okay, you guys are going to sit back here again. Let the general do some damage. Let the general hit the float. We're going to get shot by these archers, though. I'm going to do a little bit of damage, though. Okay, let the rest get away. I don't want to get my entire general killed by these archers here, either. Might still route him anyway from all this shooting. That's uh, basically all the archers coming towards me, which makes this an even battle on archery, which I don't like at all. So I think I might want to be retreating here. Or I gotta go aggressive and just charge in there with my general. But I've only got one. A bit risky in this case. Or I just go hard with the infantry, since they're already gonna be in range shooting at me. I might as well go hard, right? 
because it'll just be archers against my melee. That should be fine. Technically, let's try it. I'll get the general in there first regardless. Let's do it, El General. I mean, we still got an archer battle going here anyway. I should definitely walk them up a little bit further though, so I'm definitely in range. Looks like most units are firing there, but these guys aren't entirely. You are not entirely welcome. Okay, General is in there without taking too much damage on the way. Okay, we got Naganata Levy on the way, but if you can break that unit, it'll be great. There we go. Let's get you back. Back, you devil! Get you in there. Get you in there. I think all the infantry might be coming over as well. The generals are certainly shooting me. This isn't great. You need to get in there. My dude. General lost a few men, but that's okay. Uh, this might be a little bit less smooth than I was hoping it would be. We're fighting only, almost exclusively bow units right now. There are the two generals that are going to be shooting at me in a second here, but... Let's get my archers up. Start shooting at their generals, that's what I really need to do. Da -da 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 -da. Are you shooting at my general? Don't do that. You are not entirely welcome. To shoot at my general. Oh, we have fire arrows! What? I totally forgot we unlocked those. Let's fucking fire arrows. No, don't do that. Ranged. Fire arrows, please. Okay, they're definitely shooting at my general. I need to get him back. This is way too dangerous. He might just die here. Fire arrows at the generals, though. We're gonna take them out pretty soon here. I'm sure moving my units inside of each other wasn't very helpful, but not entirely helpful to our cause. That unit should ride from the other units riding next to it, but maybe not. There we go. Breaking, breaking through. I was gonna say breaking through. I have breaking through now! Can you please just leave? You're a bowler. How are you still even going? That's impressive. I've got to admit. I've got to say, well done, old chap. They're still going. They're shaking now instead of wavering. What the fuck? I mean to say, what in tarnation? Please kill the general. Let's do a rally as well, make sure our morale stays up. We're also 50 seconds away from... No, we're not. I'm winning the battle automatically, but it was a blatant lie. Okay, it's finally gone. That unit's actually finally gone. Okay, one general's gone. Can I get a mass route? Oh, I certainly can. Thank you very much. Get him out of here. Alright, see you later. Somehow uh, the enemy still has a little bit of chance of winning this, apparently. Uh, yep. Yep, yep. Bye bye. Kill ar don't end battle after victory, kill army, more experience. Sorry. Sorry, just got here, just didn't think he would play Rise of Samurai again. Well, here we are. Kill army after battle victory, your troops get experience. They also get experience. Yo, don't spam it, dude. Okay, uh, Mizumaki, please put Mr. Telekos in timeout. Um, you, you still get experience afterwards anyway, because look, they have no men remaining. You still get the kills on them regardless. Right. I will have this town, if you don't mind. This is my commissioner for development, isn't it? Nice. One in each. Uh, ooh. No, definitely not. Never having that one. I'll take the plus five accuracy, though. And that's been taken by someone else, so we just killed off a clan, didn't we? Respect, son. Respect. Our reputation precedes us. Word of our family's exploits spreads far and wide, uttered with awe and respect. Good. Just as it's supposed to be. They've got a sweet barter exchange for me. How very kind that they built that for me. Um, have you thought about doing versus battles, Donkey? Yeah, I, I, st streaming uh, multiplayer battles at some point is definitely something I, I've been thinking about. But I would have to do like a dedicated day for it or something. So people always know when when that is. Um. All right, we've met another person. How about some trade, Koide? Satisfactory. That's what I thought. It is always good to see you can't. Friends. You can't use that line on me, man. It makes me think I've got a donation. It gets me all excited. It makes me tingle in my tummy. Actually, venereal disease, but you know. 
Thanks for the 300 bucks. I'll put it to good use in fielding an army against you, my lord. Do I want anything else in here? I wanted another archer, so the answer is yes. So that one's currently sitting here, keeping the place in, in, in tow. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Let's get you over there instead. Yeah, that's fine. He's fine. I would love to see some visual multiplayer battles too. It's an entirely different game. It would be interesting to see how you approach it. Very poorly, I'm sure. I have got some multiplayer battles on my channel. But yeah, it's not something I generally tend to do a lot of. This campaign is so much more fun than the last one. I'm happy I decided to do this. But I am going to end the stream in a second. Because I'm, I still need to change the description and everything as well. Because I didn't prepare this at all. Oh boy, okay, that might be... Oh, well, it is. So that might be a problem, but... Uh... Oof, if I ask my vassal to join them... Okay, they do, that's good. Because then my vassal's got a large army there too. They can mess each other up. And whoever wins will be advantageous to me. Good. Goodbye, Tabaka. I'm ending the stream in a second, so you're not going to miss much. Don't worry about it. Alright, so yeah, that'll be that for now. Next time we're going to be uh, dealing with the Kitabatake, I guess. we got a pretty large army here, so we should be okay for the most part. Although I'd like to get some more stuff in here. But I'm recruiting more stuff, so we should be okay. Army was appearing to go this way anyway, so it'll get stopped over here by them. It is a large clan, though. I wasn't really intending to go this way just yet. I really want to get up deep here so I can get good rec uh, recruitment provinces, but... Eh, maybe I'll delay that for a little bit. That's going to be that for now, though. Thank you guys so much for watching the stream. Uh, this was much more successful than it initially looked like it was going to be when I started. Uh, glad I switched over from Fall to Rise of the Samurai. Certainly was a, a good choice, it seems. Thank you so much for the people who donated today, especially the 50 bucks uh, from... Sorry, I forgot your name. Let me quickly check that. Uh, from Shiny and Namikarp, and also Lee Pinson, actually. Uh, three bucks, or I'm sorry, 15 bucks free donations, or five bucks, I was going to say. Thank you so much for the donations. Thank you all so much for watching the stream. Uh, I hope I will see you all again tomorrow. Tomorrow might be this again. I was thinking about starting the Teach Me Senpai Sundays tomorrow because, you know, tomorrow's Sunday. Um, but I might end up doing another one of these this, this game because I'm actually really enjoying this campaign right now. But either way, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good day and goodbye.